Now, what does the sugar do in the sauce? Add sweetness. As a contrast, if you don't, it's all going to be tartness, and you mm. won't have any it's kind of sweetness It's going to be acidity from to tomatoes. Right. You'll have and then tart, spice. Tart and it's acid and nothing else. Um, all right. So now we're going to stir all that in, and then we add our final ingredients, and then the This one's for all my baby girls. Italian wife. Italian wife. Italian bills. Italian dark side fit. Italian wife. Italian wife. Italian chill. Italian can't give her a pill. I'm half kind of European mix. European style, Asian fusion style tips. Greasy hair. Pasta once a week. It's authentic style, Asian fusion style Italian. Guess what else we're gonna add? What? Sausage. <gasps> Italian sausage. That's gonna go in here too. I love sausage. I have had many varieties. Italian wife. Italian wife. Italian bills. Italian dark side fit. Italian wife. Italian wife, Italian chill, Italian can't give her a kill. Why do you pretend to be Italian? I don't. I'm not full-blooded Italian. That'd be ridiculous for me to claim. I'm a quarter Italian. I am one quarter Polish, and I'm half kind of European mix. This started about ten years ago. I was depressed. I was an alcoholic. That was the start of my YouTube career. Today, many years later, things are a lot better. That's for sure. That is for certain. It is certain. Things, it is certain. Rough. Rail. Rail. Got the bag, bro. Got the tips. Got the plastic cups. Will tail jam. Rough. Rail. Rail. Bro. Will tail jam. Former pro player, former alcoholic, right? Drinking liquor all day long. Good variety of stuff. We'll even have an incentive if someone contributes a very large contribution. I'll take a shot of a special liquor that I have not revealed yet. I'm not getting drunk. Absolutely not. Rough. Real tail. Got the bag, bro. Got the tips, right? Plastic cuffs. Will tail jam. Rough. Real tail. You need Jesus. Philip consumed real hail day after day after day, bro. If you do to hell with you, you need help. You need Jesus, bro. Real hail got the bag, bro. Got the tips, right? Plastic cuffs. Will tail jam. Got the bag, bro. Real hail. I actually admitted this last year. I'll say it again. I actually do play some mobile games. I do. All right. The ones that I play are free to play or incredibly inexpensive. Like you spend a dollar here or there to make progress. This one's for all my baby girls. Got me that gotcha. I love it. Got me that gotcha. Gotcha. Begging for fucking tips and shit on street. It's WWE Champions. Time. I'm stupid. WWE game plays like Candy Crush. Moving gems around, breaking colored gems. I love it. Again, it's pay to win. The more money you sink into it, the more characters you can summon, the higher chance you'll get the better characters, etc., etc. All right. Got me that gotcha. I love it. Got me that gotcha. Begging for fucking tips and shit on street. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got me that gotcha. For the money, dummies. Super Cup. That was a mobile game I played like five, six years ago. A lot. For about a year, I played it pretty hardcore. All right. Even at that point, that was before everything kind of fell apart with YouTube and everything. I was putting a little bit of money into it. I was playing for the top cards. I was playing the shit out of that game. Okay. After about a year, they launched what they called Season 2, which reset all the cards in the game and made every, all your progress essentially worthless. And I said, this game fucking sucks. What a complete waste of time that this was. All right. Gout. 
Interestingly enough, a study followed 48,000 men for an average of 10 years and discovered that within two years of a gout diagnosis, the risk of erectile dysfunction was 77% higher. Gout. 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 This is Phil, Phil Phil Burnett, all right? And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said, big ups. That being said, which vest is podcast vest? That being said, relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said, which vest is podcast vest? That being said, relaxing, Chill, interactive, fun. A L T Insight. The legend. Fantastic Mr. Sam. The dentist. Steve to the dead. Psychological style host. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? <laughs> I didn't think taking out the robot would be that much work, but it really was. But Steve is back in the house. It is lovely to have you here, my friend. The cerebral style non coronavirus having style host at the moment at least steve please first words uh it's still a bit rough but, but i'm over the worst of it so i'm happy to be back and i'm ready to take on a certain usurper of my throne <laughs> we, we might have a future match a big mania with that between those two the 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 rivalry is very strong right now between robo steve and steve robo steve had some great points though I mean, you got to give him that <laughs> Yeah, he yeah, credit where it's due. He held he held it down admirably, but um when when my dad said they should keep him, um I, I, I fell out of favor with me at that moment. Every, like, you, like, a... You're my dad. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but he's cheaper though, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he requires more upkeep though. That's the bad point. Sam, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Up keep to get him going, but uh, all right. Next, <laughs> well, no, style. once you get him Go going, he doesn't stop. He's he's like <laughs> res- he's restrained now in the basement somewhere. With that being said, headquarters. Oh, we treat him like Jasper. Just close the door behind him. And throw a few. T- <laughs> Have some poison out. He might eat it. Might not. We don't know. <laughs> we just leave it out there. <laughs> all right. Next up, musical style host, creative style host, Meerkat. How's it going? Hey, it's going good. What's up, everybody? Uh, we need to get the intern to clean up all the oil that the the robot Steve spilled. Yes, uh, but we we didn't clean it up yet. Hopefully, you guys as cats don't lick it or get poisoned <laughs> by it. Uh, you know, it's fine. We'll get our we didn't have uh, detergent. 
Das didn't, Daspo didn't have a chance to stop by yet today, but he'll be later, I think. Has something to do with Phil yet. Um, next, let's go with the behind-the-scenes style, secret musical style, dentist-style host, <laughs> Sam. How's it feeling? Pretty good, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, you might have noticed I've... <laughs> Onto a lot of effort to put some balloons out. Whoa! For, uh, <laughs> Whoa, dude! For a little, um, Holy yeah, shit, took, everyone's loving it. Yeah, it, it took a while. Um, it's just a little <laughs> segment that I want to start uh, called Sam's Birthday Week. Um, it's just something I'll be reminding you all about every yeah. day uh, this Holy week. Holy shit, and, I already got like uh, a million emails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, just no reason really, just... Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know what we're talking about come on just say you know this little thing right here <laughs> uh I'm anyways I'm joking. he's joking sam really hopes you guys like it and you can yes. express whether or not you like it through monetary means <laughs> he's too shy to tell you but i'm telling <laughs> <laughs> let's see if i can find any comment that agrees with my exact thoughts okay yes she said they love it oh my god they love it everyone's saying they love it it's uppercase they're yelling at me but anyway, <laughs> let's get to the how week. That what? <laughs> oh, yes, how are you? Oh uh, man, I'm going crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. WPIG is like the best thing ever, but I'm just it's, I'm letting it take over my life, which is not good <laughs> in terms of mental health wise. Because like it's just such a good idea, and I want it to be awesome, but I also need to sleep sometimes. So it's a tough balance. WPIG being awesome or sleep, right? It's tough, but we gotta <laughs> fight through it somehow. It's but been uh, yeah. Tough. <laughs> it's definitely been tough, but not complaining. It's a lot of fun putting everything together. We got a lot of awesome stuff coming to you guys. Awesome stuff that involves a lot more people. You know, there's this fucking thing like the little in between songs thing. It's like WPIG. We got a lot of more things coming right there. It's going to be really funny and awesome. So stay tuned on that. WPIG, please subscribe if you haven't already on the channel. Double dipping here, of course, but it's free. All you got to do is push a button. And Sam said he wants that for his birthday week. So just letting that, putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there is a lot of uh, like actual exclusive stuff on that channel. So stuff you've never heard of before, you've never seen before, and you yeah. might never see again if you miss it. So go there and watch every single thing that we ever put out and like it for engagement purposes. The, yeah, that's the plan, isn't it? Like we don't want to, we're not going to inundate the channel with like new stuff, but every once in a while there'll be there'll be a reason to you know to 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 tune yeah. in, I guess, like a little exclusive yeah. bit here or there, yes. maybe. That's the goal. That's yeah. the goal. So, but yeah, it's coming on. It's coming God, on well. If I hear about this from my dad, <laughs> put on WPIG, Steve. <laughs> put it on. <laughs> Call me after that. All right. Anyways, let's talk about. This is going to be a kind of a, a, a hybrid style show. It's obviously a conversation style show. We also have some comments we want to get to. One thing we're not doing is going to play any songs or any bits after. <laughs> <laughs> just one. <laughs> we do have to play just one because the legend lefty, which he finished, of course, first in the U.S., the top ranked in the U.S., Kaching of the Ring contestant. He drops a song. You stop what you're doing. You fucking play it. And to be honest, though, he submitted it almost 20 days ago. So want to get it out there for the masses. And then we're going to say no more bits, no more songs. We're just going to talk. All right. So, Sam, if you could play the fourth place in the world, first place in the U.S., the only place that matters. Lefty, his contribution for us today. Go ahead. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> call in. Okay, call in bits. Call in bits and songs. And the date oh, yeah. that is today, 226. And then you go to Lefty's folder. Got yeah. I got it. I got it. Right. Here we go. Captain Bunnell rides again featuring Logan K. Breaking news this evening. The National Transportation Safety Board has released the cockpit voice recorder from the final moments of Flight 1651. The Boeing 737 crashed just moments after takeoff. No one on the ground was injured. Our staffers here in the WPIG newsroom were able to obtain voice data from the flight recorder thanks to a source within the NTSB. We go now to excerpts from the final moments of Flight 1651. <laughs> what you are about to hear may be offensive to some listeners. Discretion is advised. Burnell 1651, climb and maintain 2000. Climb and maintain 2000. Burnell 1651. So let's try, I don't know what happened. Whoa, 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 I'm not doing anything. Dude, it's glitched. It, what the fuck? Dude, it's completely glitched out. It's moving and vibrating by itself. The stupid fucking autopilot keeps dropping my inputs when I've pushed the correct button. It's bullshit. 
bank angle. Now here's the other Brunel, thing. Brunel 1651, low altitude alert. Shut the fuck up, you stupid dumb kid. <laughs> Immature piece of shit. Now, let me continue. It's a Corsky aircraft. Engineers are fucking idiots. I can't take how bad these engineers are and how rich they are for the shit that they put out every year. It's just it's pathetic. The airline industry is a piece of shit. Because remember, I got laid off in late 2010, and here I am, flying a bunch of immature little shit around in an El Cheapo airplane. That is barely airworthy. You would think my first officer would know how to fly the plane back to the airport. Nope, they're not even capable of doing that. They're that incompetent at what they do. So, I have absolutely, positively, no confidence. If I have a gout flare-up in flight, I'm just fucked. Uh, oh crap, it looks like I'm about to crash. It's not my fault, obviously. I'm pushing buttons, I don't even know if I'm pressing them. Air traffic control doesn't know how to do their job. And now, we're gonna crash. We're crashing! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that was godlike. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. Man. Is this the, the the last piece of the puzzle for flight 1651? I think this we've got all, I think we've got all the perspectives now. We can piece together exactly what happened. But didn't he then go on to do the sermon after? Yes, he did do that. So, so he so lived. He survived. We're yeah. working on the continuity aspect of the documentary still, but we can put it together. <laughs> he survived, of course, the big roach. Inspired so much. God damn it. That was so good, man. Background sounds are so on point. Hey, the plane is crashing. It's not my fault, of course. <laughs> not my fault, of course. I love Fucking that. Fucking Sikorsky engineers. <laughs> man, Lefty can do it all, man. Lefty's a quadruple threat. First place, the U.S. in songwriting skills. Parody songwriting skills. They can drop bits like that. Dude is on fire. He also dropped War Dent Cherry Juice, which is a all timer for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kill to yeah. <laughs> I said that a thousand times this weekend. <laughs> I think the next the level of evolution is just people start sending us like feature length, the like 90 minute long, like <laughs> audio. Like... Yeah, like beautifully shot films and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Jasper started as a, a stray cat in the fields of Seattle until one day, animal control picked him up and then begun his hellish life. The story of this Jasper. Summer, <laughs> yeah. The ants are back. <laughs> Whoa! He, does, he doesn't like the poison. <laughs> oh, God. We can make it right now. All right, anyways, let's get back into the nonsense that is was the week. Before we get to it, we got a good, some good question uh, in the uh, speak pipe as well. So we'll get to those. But I want to talk about, personally, since you mentioned them, I do want to talk about the ants. And boys, mm. ants are back on the menu. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Just two months ago, that would have been a shot. You'd have made that a shot yeah. with like, the Lord of the Rings ones. And now look where we are. Now we're on WPIG bits. All right, anyways. But what happened to the, the shorts, man? Come on. You think I have time for shorts? I'm serious. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm sleeping four have hours you, a night as it is. Have you ever seen like a, a stoner then get addicted to crack and go back to weed? No, they keep going with crack. That's his crack. He's running <laughs> He's a like, radio station where, now. Where the shorts Fuck go. Shorts. I'll tell you where the shorts went. Damn. <laughs> My work is not respected around here. <laughs> Anyways. No, big ups, man. WPRG is all <laughs> yeah, ALT's yeah. thing, man. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's going really well. So. Thank yeah. you. I'm right. kidding. Let's talk about the story of the ants, birthday boy. Mm. The ants. How do they start? Well, wait, wait, wait. wait. Birthday, the, the, the birthday clarification. When is the actual birthday? Yeah, when's the birthday? It's, that's a good It's later good... this week. It's it's not actually today, but I think that makes it funnier. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. We all got to do that now for our birthday weeks. Oh, yeah. Um, anyways, anyways. Birthday oh, week. Fine. Oh, shit. Yeah, we missed, I was say, we missed Steve. <laughs> well, we'll do Robo Steve's birthday week. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So glad to see you back, Steve, but I miss Robo Steve. Oh, <laughs> damn. God oh. damn it. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm going to do a birthday month because my birthday is on the third. And after the third, I'm going to continue with like referencing my birthday that was like a day ago. <laughs> yeah. And like yeah, you do it after last week. <laughs> That's the play. All right. But, anyways, ants. I really want to talk about these ants mm -hmm. because it's funny. So, how did the ants happen? <laughs> well, every day, unbeknownst to me, I didn't remember this story, Cat 
Princess Cat, let's just call her Princess from now on, Disney Princess, I might say, puts out nuts for the woke wildlife and the, as Phil the says, local. woodland critters. <laughs> Do you know what? This would have been enough on its own. This whole segment <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. was, and I, I think I'm going to do something with this. I don't know. Someone may have already done something, but I've never heard him. I always say he sounds like an old man, but this took it to new heights. <laughs> and he hadn't even got to the ants yet. The like, it was, critters. it was just, That's, you can't say that unless you're at least 60, not 80. Yeah. Woodland we always put a, a little bowl of peanuts out for the squirrels and sit and watch them and cats sitting at the window going oh it's just like is that, is that it is that is that what you're looking forward to that's entertainment <laughs> dude i feel bad for cat like i feel bad for cat <laughs> this made me feel bad for cat like that's it's her like, entertainment imagine <laughs> cat is like locked inside and she gets to feed the woodland critters nuts through the bars on the windows. It's like, Cat loves doing this. She loves kind of being outside, but still being inside through the bars on the window. She's the one pawing at the window trying to get at the birds. <laughs> it's not your outside hours yet, honey. Oh, God. <laughs> you know the you schedule, know you're honey. A house cat. <laughs> you know, can't let you out. You're a Can house you cat. imagine this morning? All right, let's go through the mor story of the morning. So Phil has to go to the bathroom. You know what he's doing there. Of course, he has to tell us. He has to go to the bathroom. While he's going to the bathroom, Cat is putting out the nuts for the woodland critters. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need, we need to linger on this. Because it's like, do you get a paper bowl and then a big bag of Costco peanuts? <laughs> Damn honest. right. <laughs> it's one of those that commodities. Means, Paper ball. <laughs> she takes Hang that paper on, ball Phil. out. She opens the back door, closes it behind her so Jasper didn't get out. And then she yeah, walks right. over across the dew laden morning grass. <laughs> and she puts it on top of a bird feeding table. And then she steps back and she watches. And she sees all of the woodland fawn <laughs> lining up around the garden. And then she walks back up the steps and then she sits on the bench near the door. And watches as they all approach the table. She is beautiful in it's her idyllic. traditional raccoon makeup, in her wedding dress. She looks like a Disney princess. <laughs> Amazing. This is like a Pixar animations yes. bit waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah. We're we're giving him too much now. That's what he's telling me. Like all, all the songs and stuff. We've like he's like inundated with. He needs to get a staff now to make put these out. <laughs> but like, what what creatures are they? He lives in Washington. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrels, dude. And raccoons, probably, I would imagine. <laughs> They're high. No, like, like foxes that are like mengy and scraggly because they can't get anything because everything's in bins because it's a fucking like gated community. It's whatever could get into that community. So, oh, it's 100% squirrels. Oh, and if you're lucky, you might see a raccoon, I guess. I mean, that's like, that's a crazy not... day. Maybe a badger. I don't know. You know, yeah, it's not going mean... to be like 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 a forest behind him. You know, and like this proper local wildlife comes up, like deers come up and drink from the babbling <laughs> brook that runs across the bottom of his garden. <clears throat> so this is apparently part of the morning routine, though. Like you said, like oh, look at us so happily. Oh, honey, you, did you get the peanuts you, yet? <laughs> and you see like the uh, the smell trail of a of a freshly baked apple pie. Living <laughs> 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 Literally cartoon. It's just cooling on the windowsill. Cat's <laughs> asking, like, what are we gonna do today? What do you mean, what are we gonna do today? You already fed the squirrels. What else are you looking for? Go watch That's them. A good day. <laughs> do you wanna come no? out and shop with me? No, no, please, no, no, no. Okay then. I'm just gonna sit and watch the squirrels for a bit more and then uh <laughs> I've got some Skyrim to play. Yeah. <laughs> That's all DSP Letzer. I blame him, not her. Anyways. It's like being in an institution. <laughs> it's like, like, you know, like in the 1950s where they'd give people lobotomies and then that would be it. You'd just yeah, spend yeah. Like the rest of your days in that, in that institution being cared for. Yeah, yeah. Like stare at the wall, yeah. <laughs> stare at the wall. That's all your entertainment is. But anyway, so let, let, the ants were here last year. And let me tell you, it was funny because I was trying to find mm -hmm. like the exact story. So I searched on YouTube and I was watching the story. But it was the story from last year. So I got to live, relive that story too on accident. I thought I was real. I thought I was listening to the current story, but it was last year's ant story. Because this is the second time ants have happened. So that's why, though, last year he put out some poison, some ant poison. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about this, guys. I don't know if you know this. It's sticky and it's sweet. 
and they get to them. But cats don't like it. Cats cannot Delicious. taste sweet at all. They don't give a shit about it, guys. Don't even think about it. It's not a thing to worry about. So if you spill it, you can leave it there for literally a year. Now that's cool. That's that's it's totally cool. Nothing's wrong with that at all. In a household Wait. with a wife and a kid. <laughs> A year? They left it from the last that, time they had ants? Yes, I think, sir. Yes, sir. I, uh, is that when he legit? broke it? Is that when he legit spilled chat, it? He got chat, back me up. up. Maybe I'm wrong. That's what I understood from the situation. He that got he put it up. the ant yeah. trap a year ago. Because, yeah, I, I went down like the same pig pig go rabbit hole and yeah. had a look. And from my what I saw, he got it. But there was nowhere where he says, I spilled it until like today. And, yeah, because he, he was trying to clean them up. When the ants hmm. were gone, he said, I'm going to clean them up. Oh, shit, one spilt. So he tried hmm. to pick it up, but he's like, oh, I can't get it. I'm not going to put solvent on it. And he left it hmm. there. And that's lasted the whole year. It's been there for a whole year. Sticky ant poison. So what does that Sticky tell you, man? man. That, that, that says a lot about a household. And I'm sad to say, Chaos Realm as well. Because leaving that shit, man, in your house, just sitting there. Let's just forget about the cat. Which is another huge part. <laughs> I mean, you have a cat mm -hmm. that but, at yeah. any point can do whatever the fuck they want. They're animals. Sometimes they might say, you know what? I'm going to bite this fucking thing. I don't give a shit. You know, you can't just, okay, they don't taste sweet. He hasn't, look, he hasn't cared about it yet. He never will. It's not how you can do life with pets, no. man. <clears throat> I mean, we're, we're all cat owners and we all know that even though they can't taste sweet, that doesn't mean they'll, they won't try to eat it. Yeah, my like, cat will eat like, anything. Yeah. yeah. My cat goes mental for Twinkies. Like, <laughs> yeah, jumps up. Loves yeah. Twinkies, yeah. So it's like there's, there's some sweet stuff they'll go for, but even if they don't go for it, what about if they get it on the fur or their paws? Then they start to clean themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Steps on it on accident, then what? You yeah. gotta lick it off. <laughs> then you got a fucking dead Jasper. It was there for a year, man, a year, and it was sticky stuff on the floor, which makes it a hundred times worse. But and they, luckily, <laughs> go ahead, Sam. Like, need I remind everyone that he walks around with no shoes or socks on? <laughs> oh, as well. God. oh, God. Pure feet. It's pure feet. Oh, God. I didn't even thought of that. But he I knows where it's spilled, so he avoids it. He avoids stepping on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He knows it's like where it's a quick is. time event, dudes. Here it comes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> but anyway, so it's just insane that you leave that for a year. And but of course, of course he can leave this into a positive because because it was there, he found out he had ants this year. So it was a bit of a positive. Because he found a fuck ton of ants eating the year old poison. <laughs> well, I'm surprised I he, did, did he say that's why I left it there? Because I knew this would happen. That sounds <laughs> no, like no. the sort of thing he would <laughs> yeah. say. He didn't say go that far, but he did say that's a good thing I left it out. So it's a good thing. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. He, he did manage to twist it into a positive. And that's why I think he admitted to spilling it in the first place. Because eventually <laughs> he can twist it into being smart enough or lucky enough <laughs> or to have spilled at the right place so yeah. the ants could find it. And yeah, now they're getting taken care of. It's not a big thing. This is one of those but stories it, where, again, you don't have to share, but he does overshare. Go ahead, Meerkat. Yeah, and it like you can see when he was getting ear infections, and it's usually when something bad happens to him, then he starts telling you how clean he's going to get and how clean he is. When he was getting ear infections, he was talking about, oh, every week I'm going to clean the office. I'm going to deep clean the office. <laughs> We're going to like go and clean out all the dust and do this every week. And then we haven't heard about it since... Like, not even once. Since he got the neck phones, everything's been perfect. No need to clean. Fuck no. So, do, do you all remember when Phil was playing Hades, which was August 2021? He talked about Jasper having a UTI and needed to go to the vets. Oh, yeah. 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 So, about long enough to be, you know, a year of spilt poison worth. Or do we think mm. that, that was something else? It could very well be. Yeah, Even be. if it's not related to that, the point is the fact that that was left alone means that house isn't safe for that cat because he didn't consider what it would do to him. So, you know, yeah. it, it could have been some other spill. You know, if you spilled a cleaning product or, a, you know, washing up liquid or um, like bleach or something, don't clean it up because, you know, you're a lazy slob and the cat sees it, <laughs> goes and has a sniff or gets it on its paws and has oh, got to clean this off now. You know, yeah, I figured the, the UTI is something maybe related to them just locking Jasper in the bedroom every night mm. so he can't go to the bathroom. 
and his uh, his litter box probably being dirty as hell, so he doesn't want to go to the bathroom there. But then again, I don't they have, have a cat, so I, I'm not sure how this would work. They have that water thing as well, don't they? Where they um, they, he has a filter and he doesn't clean it. Oh so, hell well, no! You know he's not refilling okay. that thing. Goes to shopping once a week for pet supplies. Doesn't change the water filter though. Mm-hmm. What is he doing? We, we I think we all agreed pro- the most probable thing he does every week is just. Nothing? Shit in the litter box, dump it out. Uh, right, New litter. Yeah. That's the easiest way. Like to that is like the most cost ineffective way and the easiest. How way, is so. that? <laughs> how is that easier than a scoop and a little bag? Yeah, exactly. I yeah. guess it's farther away from your hand. I don't know. Just dump uh, the whole thing in. Bend oh, over. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts the whole fucking litter box in the trash can. <laughs> New litter box, Annie. <laughs> Watch out for the nuts. Don't pour them in there. <laughs> Honey, that's the litter box. Up. That's not your nut the, can. The paper plate <laughs> equivalent of a litter box is like a one-time use litter box. They have like travel yeah. litter boxes or something like that. That is just like you use it once. Just use just like the, whatever you. whatever cart and the DoorDash came in last night. You just get a litter. <laughs> there you go. Pizza box litter on it. There you go. <laughs> they do. just fold it over. <laughs> We had curry, I... so it's like all the silver trays. Oh, there you go. God. <laughs> <laughs> we got to change topics. <laughs> yeah, no, just before we do, because I've mentioned curry, he had he, he, they they had curry on Valentine's Day, and he said that uh, chicken tikka masala was spicy, and it's just oh, of all the yeah, you know, spicy yeah. guys. I like, noticed that. Even... Yeah, he said like he had butter chicken, and she had tikka masala, and it's like yeah, that's that's. It's not the mildest, but it's not hot by not any hot. means. Ooh, it's spicy. I, mean, I love it. Love a chicken tikka masala, but it's yeah, yeah it's my favorite. It's not spicy. It's no. not like hot. So no, it's really quite sweet. Curry it? wurst. But, and it's not, not even he... Indian. It's not even Indian. No, it's not. created in Glasgow. It's a Scottish thing. Yeah. It's a sauce round here. You 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 don't get tikka masala in India. You know. No. So. And we're just like he just proud of how much it costs now. So like fifty dollars mm-hmm. DoorDash. I mean that's how much mm-hmm. it costs, bitches. I pay fifty dollars, so someone's got to pay for it. His word. Someone's got to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine doing fifty dollars a pop every day. I mean, let's say how often he's doing DoorDash. Four times a week, we don't twice know, but day. twice a day. I mean, that's I, money that's the fastest way to lose money is when you have a okay. I'm going to buy lunch for fifteen dollars. DoorDash makes it twenty five or thirty. Mm. That's it's just a tax on you know on your on convenience, right? But someone that has endless time, I guess he doesn't. I guess he's too busy to clean up the poison though. So what do I know? Yeah. Anyway, he did beat the ants. Though. That's a uh, <laughs> victorious ending to the story. He did defeat them. They are gone. They're destroyed. Dude, they'll be back. They're waiting for their chance. This asshole leaves that poison a whole year. Just wait, boys. <laughs> wait, wait for your chance. There's also nuts in the back. Go grab some of them. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's talk about. Say, we talked about a little bit on the show uh, during the Kitchen of the Ring final because it's kind of impossible not to. Uh, sexy fridges. What do you think of when I say sexy fridges? Very voluptuous Steve. fridges. <laughs> Gets me very excited <laughs> and hungry, but mostly excited. <laughs> this was incredible. Uh, because but the, my favorite part was that we get to see scrambling Phil, so he knows he has to do something about this situation. He's not comfortable in any way. What can I do? He settles on the excuse of there's too much talking going on. I can't handle what's going on. It's annoying as shit. I might make <laughs> Egg and ruin my playthrough. <laughs> yep. I better mute it. <laughs> so, for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. <laughs> for everybody. So, uh, Steve, I know you weren't here for that. So, I want to hear your thoughts first on the sexy fridge. First, what are your thoughts on the fridge? And then this situation. I. Uh, uh, can we just, I'm sorry, uh, can we yeah. just first give a summary? Because sexy fridge is a very obscure <laughs> term. Uh, I don't think everybody's going to get it. Sorry. <laughs> so, right, yeah, the SP was playing. Uh, Fuck if I know the name of the game. Atomic Whole, Heart. Atomic Heart, yeah. Atomic Heart. And, and there is a fridge in it that's like a smart fridge, and it talks dirty to you, and it's very horny. And, um, yeah, when, when that happened, he got, like, super incel mode. It's basically like he's never had sex before, and that's, like, a deep-rooted issue with him. And he had massive issues with it, to the point where he had to turn off the sound of everything. He had to turn off the, the sound for his neck phones and the sound that was coming out on stream. So not yeah. just... It bothered him. He had to turn off the sound for himself. He had to turn it off for everybody else. So nobody gets uh, distracted, let's call it. 
Yes. It was so distracting. Well, the whole time he was talking about, well, there's so many sounds going on. This is so out of control. When you're li- li- you're in a city of things, some sounds are going to happen. Go ahead, Sam. I do have a question about that. Was he was he was he mentioning that before the fridge thing happened? Yeah. Oh, to know? be fair, to to his defense, yes, he was saying the sound design okay. is is confusing him. Okay. You know, he, he can't handle that. Much. A lot of inputs for him. You know, three voices talking. Whoa, what's going on? I'm not going to. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Because because there was there was uh, there were several times he pointed at he he, he was pointing out in his kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, justification for the inevitable rage quit, which I'm guessing has now happened. A uh, wage happened, quit yeah. story, or whatever, yeah, yeah. You, whatever you want to call it. That <laughs> it, it just seemed like he was he was peppering that into his argument to to you know to take away from the fact that it was this this big thing. But fair enough. If you mentioned it before, then yeah. You know, so I, I mean, yeah. still, it's I mean, dude, no living human on earth does that for the same reason Phil does. I don't care no, how, no. whatever your thoughts are on sexuality in video games. Just shows such an immaturity. But Steve, what do your take? What does lead you to have the feelings enough to literally want to jump out of your skin so much you can't handle it, man? He was like tweaking because the fridge was talking to him in a very sexual manner, in ch- childlike manner. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of jokey when you're a teenager. Mm. I want to suck mm. your pole. Whoa, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you know, very it's not heavy <laughs> innuendo. Yeah, sort of. yeah. It seems like my life is now at a point where I could say the sentence. A lot of people have asked me about DSP's sex life. <laughs> and cool. <laughs> it's not cool. It's really not. <laughs> um, because you can tell he was made incredibly awkward by this because you can hear the, oh my God, you know, the, the, so, oh my God, the, the cringe. There's a lot of emotion in that, that, those three words. And I always push them together as one word because he says it so consistently. Oh my God. And it comes up anytime. There's anything remotely sexual on screen, as long as it involves like a either a heterosexual couple or a lesbian couple. You know, a gay couple. Yeah, he's a bit whoa, 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 whoa. but you can also be a man in a bathhouse in a yakuza game, and he's completely fine with that. <laughs> oh, that was the funniest shit ever. He was in a cloud nine. Mm. Mm. <laughs> whoa, he was whoa, dude. <laughs> so. It's very revealing because it just shows you how uncomfortable and awkward he is around sex. And it's it's a thing that has just remained so consistent throughout his career since Cat moved him. Since he decided to go off on this whole, I need to be an adult now. I need to be seen as an adult. I'm no longer a kid like I was with Panda. I'm an adult. I run a business. I have a house. I have uh, the, the love of my life. My soulmate is my wife. You know, all these all these status signs and symbols became so important to him. And part of that involved reassessing how he is towards depictions of sex. And I just don't know how it's gone to this extreme. I, I need to know more about his parents. <laughs> well, here's something someone brought up during WPIG with Leanna Blit, and I want to talk about this. Someone said the great point that with Leanna, sex was on the table for jokes, right? Mm-hmm. Very, they could joke about it, right? And he was he was always a little uncomfortable, but he was still willing to joke about. It. Like, remember that young, dumb, and full of what thing the video mm-hmm. watching they did together. So that shows that I think that proves to me they were doing it, right? They were at least at the level where we're doing it from time to time like a normal couple yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. But now with Kat, they're not doing it because it's such a topic that he can't even touch. It's something he doesn't want to be in the same universe with. That that leads me to believe, like, can you imagine if they're in the same room and a sex scene comes on a movie? You could probably cut that silence with a with a squirrel nut. It, 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 in that situation, the closest thing I can compare that to is the direct equivalent. It's like watching a film with your parents when a sex scene comes on. <laughs> That's the dynamic I would imagine they would have in that situation. That's how uncomfortable yeah. and awkward that room would be. You know? Yeah, and unfortunately, he's uh, he's referred to Cat as as that very thing on several occasions, mm-hmm. or nearly, <laughs> nearly yeah. doing it anyway. <laughs> Oh, he said mother, yeah, plenty of times. Mm. <laughs> God, that was just and, and also let's not let that go by. There was also some sexy curvy robots that all of a sudden Phil starts checking out the scenery <laughs> with the camera in the game, you know, because they're talking oh, to you, yeah. obviously. They have a lot what? of hips, a lot of curves, but Phil's looking at the plants and the walls. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm doing it now. Oh my god. He feels like he has to add some commentary to like distract you from the fact he's avoiding those 
like apparently naked robots in front of him. So he's looking around. He's like, "Oh, I wonder how they made this like this part of the level. Wow, this is very interesting." <laughs> this this is literally a sketch. There was a TV show over there called Goodness Gracious Me. And it was a sketch show, and one of the one of the sketches was like a family would be sat eating tea and they'd be watching something, and it would start off like mundane and regular, and then it would veer into sex. <laughs> so it'd be like you know they're watching like a, a a nature documentary, and then it'd show like the animals. And the moment this happened, the the dad would scream like this doll is fantastic you know pointing at the food. <laughs> and that it is that every time sex comes in a yeah. game or there's something adult he's like oh my god anything else let's look yeah. at anything else francisco that's exactly what he said look there's an airplane whoa there's two whoa, oh, <laughs> god, the really? Sky. whoa. really that's <laughs> It it sort of reminds me as well of um my my father-in-law is you know it's it's not it's not sex. It's with him. It's like swearing because he doesn't. Okay. He, never, he never swears. And I remember watching there was like a festival on TV once, and like Adele was on. She gets really sort of potty mouth between songs. You know, fucking this, fucking that. Look at that fucking. And and you just heard him go. God. You know, it's just, <laughs> it reminds me of that so much. Yeah, but like that's okay. All that shit is normal, right? Like I know that too. Like, but you know, when yeah. you watch a movie with Choose Dad, it's kind of like, oh, you know, this kind of scene. You're like, yeah. So, mm. uh, how about the weather? You know, that kind of stuff. I get that, but not with your wife, man. No, your wife. That should not be a thing that happens. And <laughs> I mean, that's a sad, sad state. And which, like, is a hundred percent true to me. Like, it's a roommate situation, boys. Maximum. If it's even that, you know, it's like I deliver food and that's it, right? I mean, that's the, I deliver your food and you get to stay here. Your money's your own. You buy your own stuff and we'll, we'll talk it sometimes, right? That's oh, what's turned into, right? I've just remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Phil's day off, when he was out shopping, she took down the Christmas decorations. Oh, God, yeah. I forgot about that as well. <laughs> It's the normal yeah, time, dude. Decorations up for the. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. It's the normal time, dude. Almost yeah, March. Thinking, like, what has she done this week? <laughs> Is it been classic, a normal week for him? She that, that classic that as well. date on everyone's schedule when it's almost March. Time to take okay. down those Christmas decorations, boys. To be the to be the devil's advocate on this one, Christmas <laughs> decorations are pretty cool. They make uh, your place oh, seem God. pretty cool. Your cat's going soft. Well, wanna, Go ahead. You want to leave it up? <laughs> you know. You want to leave up the Christmas lights? They look nice. That's why he's getting rid of his background. (laughs) 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 Meerkat's house is decked out right now. (laughs) Chris Pringle all over the place. I don't have any any Christmas bloom at all. I didn't even have them in Christmas because I went to my parents' place. Okay. Uh, Excuses. excuses. Uh, But the the wife thing, you know, I would have, I think he like attributes it to those like my wife jokes. You know, it's like, oh, my wife, we never have sex. You know, my wife, <laughs> she just is stupid. And all those, you know, the the, the stereotypical jokes about my wife. And yeah, he thinks yeah. that people in reality actually act like that. So he thinks, you know, it's like never having sex. That's like, that's a my wife moment. My wife, <laughs> we never have sex. That's it. That's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about what you your idea of relationships and how they should operate from though for phil it is going to be mainly his parents most of us it's our parents but we also have external factors like we will pick up ideas about you know being boyfriend or girlfriend as you're going through high school but his parents are going to be the main one so if they have that sort of cold like repressed sort of approach to sex around phil at least you know like depictions of sex in tv and you can't watch this movie because there's a rude scene in it and all that stuff if they were like that that's the imprint that phil has and that's where it extends to well this is how adults operate so this is how i must behave when it comes to sex so he's just got some really fucked up ideas about sex and and it must come from how his parents were about it when he was growing up I'll bet he never had the talk with his dad. You know, mm-hmm. I, I think it's definitely from his parents because, like, other people would have some kind of a vision or idea of how relationship mm-hmm. dynamics should be based on the people that they've met in their life that are in a relationship based on their past relationships and just, like, general, like, life experience. And he's yeah. been sheltered for so long, including, like, the last 15 to 20 years of just spending in a condo playing video games. 
he has no idea how dynamics between people should should function and it's not just relationship like significant other and stuff you could see how his idea of friendships is totally dysfunctional his whole vision of how the dynamic between friends should be uh you could see this in like rambo and howard and the previous interactions with stuff Mm. yeah definitely relationships plural before this he had panda that was it no other like experience of relationships no no one night stands no sort of casual things you know no friends with benefits stuff no other sort of forms of relationship just there, there was a girlfriend and you're young so you know yeah you you know yeah. hormones and everything and then there's immediate adulthood yeah. and panda most time. likely had more experience than him in like mm. the, the relationship dynamics between two people between like a couple yeah, she'll have had like friends, she'll have had her parents and her family, and she had a bigger family, so she'll have had more like you know, seen aunts and uncles and things. And yeah, she'll have had like a wider experience than Phil has. Do you know what that makes so much sense as well? Because <clears throat> wasn't there that story where like where he's telling a story in like a dorm room or something? Yeah, that yeah I was thinking about that. And you like, were doing her, yeah, like <laughs> <got leading. laughs> and that's that's why those stories are so like vivid and and you know and he, why they're so why we get the full info because he they rarely ever happened you know that's that one to, you know one time something like that ever happened to him and then there's and then nothing 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 panda nothing nothing cat you know and then you know and, yeah that makes so much sense yeah the college story we got to do a react re- recap on that that's a great yeah. one me and my friends back there yeah we're doing her all the time yeah tough yeah. like so, try to be such a bro but like he doesn't know how to be a bro be like yeah they're smoking like pounds of weed they got like 40 kilos i smoked like three pounds myself i did like 18 weed it was awesome <laughs> and, like the, the cops came and then was like a drunk girl and she she like just barfed all over his crotch, <laughs> all over his dick, dude. It was like a, a scene out of American Pie, but less believable. Yes. He tried to chase me. That was too fast. I ran away fast. I was like Usain Bolt speed. He couldn't even see me, bro. I was so high though. <laughs> I was seeing shit. <laughs> we're, we're exaggerating now, but it's definitely in that realm. Uh, but anyways, well, I think before we get to our next topic, though, let's get to one of our beautiful, beautiful messages. Samuel, please. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's do it. I forgot we were doing this. Yeah. Yes, do we do have some messages today. It's a chill style stream because Wednesday, we haven't said anything, but Wednesday is a pretty epic one. Our, our, some would argue our biggest guest yet. It's a Gundam is coming. It is true on Wednesday, 4.30 p.m. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a very, very hype one. All right, Sam, let's go. Cool. This is Artorias Rex. Hopefully. Come on, Artorius. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Hello there. Artorius <laughs> Rex, Proconsul of Britannia and Hibernia on behalf of the dinner world order here. <laughs> my question is, <laughs> if you could force your worst enemy, which in my case would be the bastard Sir Mordred, to eat one disgusting piece of pig slop that Phil either ate or feeding with the pig, or DSP tries it, or that he posted on his <laughs> social media, which one would it be? Would it be that disgusting buttery Jack's burger that was greasier than the few strands of hair that Phil has left on his head? Would it be that Burger King sandwich that looked like Derek came all over it? Personally, I took that disgusting bloody pizza that he bragged about on Twitter which looked like he smeared a bunch of period blood on cookie oh. dough. Oh, God. Burger. <laughs> Thanks for that palate cleanser. What was the question? I don't actually know what's going on. What What is the worst food that's been on? I could translate. What uh, food okay. is the worst one from DSP tries it or Feast with the King? What's your like least what favorite one? What would you one force your, your, your yeah. worst enemy, worst to, enemy. to So eat. what's the worst one, basically? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of good options. He chose a good one. That one <laughs> butter burger was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, but... I still think it's his pizza, man. That pizza looks sad as hell. It's so <laughs> dry and just like burned. You know that that fucking crust is just like tastes like a shoe. <laughs> you can snap that crust. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say Thanksgiving. That the, that Thanksgiving plate is is mm-hmm. I, you can't tell what's on it. 
I couldn't mm-hmm. describe what's on it. I don't like that kind of stuff, man. I at least need to know what it is. So for me, it's that Thanksgiving, what's he call it? Odds and ends plate. That's what I call. The bits and bobs. <laughs> bits one. and bobs. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's mine as well. When when we had uh, ads on and, and he took a picture of it to send it to someone, it's like, that's when you know it's <laughs> oh, bad. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. took a picture of the screen. Mm. <laughs> it was like, uh, if there was a term for it, I would say it looks like secondhand food. Or somebody's <laughs> had it already. <laughs> there, was a moment, there was a point in that where you, you mentioned the, the thing that didn't look like sweet potato. That was a sweet potato. And I'm like, there's sweet potato on there? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> I'd say I was digging for his choice. Go ahead. Sam. I, I, I'm forward. trying to find a picture of it. And I know it's it's easily found somewhere. But I'm not even sure what it is. But there's that one that I think Shunko <laughs> always brings up. Which is like, and where he holds up a, a bowl full of something, and he's like shaking, like his hands, it, oh, and it's like, <laughs> it's like the chicken adobo, or something. Yeah. It's the that, chicken adobo. He complained about it being on the bone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, that might be lovely, but it looks fucking horrible, like in that yeah. that picture. So I'm just gonna say that. Like, That's the it, one where he does the classic DSP move that Big Guy pointed this out. So I want to give Big Guy credit. He eats every single piece of the soup individually, even oh, yeah. the lettuce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's some lettuce. Oh, okay. yes. I remember now. <laughs> Tastes like lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just clicked on a, I just clicked on a thing with the key just to see if it was that one. It actually is this one, but and nice. I didn't find the picture, but I found a really funny screenshot. So share it, share it. Come on. I'm, Twitter, I'm, I'm getting there. Just give me a sec. <laughs> give me the like lettuce. Two minutes. Let me taste this lettuce. Mm. Yes. Even okay. there, <laughs> can't like grasp that you, you, you're supposed to eat all these flavors at once. These flavors are combined to, to, yeah. to taste nice. <laughs> The complementary flavors, yeah. you know. So there was there was one great example of this when he was eating some kind of a Asian, I think it was Thai food or something like that, mm-hmm. and he was picking out the individual pieces, pointing them at the camera, and being like, "What do you guys think this is? I wonder what this is. Is this like shrimp?" It was like shaking it like this, like it's keys. And, Lure, and then like lures, said, lures. I, I don't know if it, it might be chicken. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, you fucking idiot! It's not chicken. What do you think? You fucking stupid." <laughs> I need to go back and watch him eating curry. I bet there's a moment where he just he takes the naan bread and just goes and just eats the naan yeah, bread. Right. Dry. Oh yeah, it's kind of dry. Course. He'll have eaten like the poppadoms, won't he? He'll have taken like a poppadom and gone. <laughs> they love this in India, guys. Like <laughs> they love dry stuff there. Mm. It's so sheltered. <laughs> yeah, when they're eating their chicken tikka masala. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here's that screenshot. You guys won't yeah. see it, but here you go. It's For okay. everyone else, right. there's just a really Enjoy funny it. screenshot on screen. So, Enjoy it, everybody. So everyone on Spotify, uh, come and watch us on YouTube because you can't see this. But, yeah. <laughs> but also listen to it on Spotify. Play it in the background yeah. while you sleep. And Do that as well. Try then to then time Sam, it describe it. Do your best to describe what you see. In front uh, of yeah, you. please. It's Phil holding a pot of something. I don't know. It's the it's the chicken adobo one. So it's like <laughs> something <laughs> Filipino. <laughs> One of those cultures <laughs> fills a master I've just up. Seen it. I've just seen it. <laughs> oh, I gotta open it now, you assholes. I'm opening it. <laughs> oh, now I have to open it too, so I don't feel left out. <laughs> Leave it on the screen, please. This don't is the best away. podcast. We laugh at our own screens. Hold on, guys. Oh, Watch go. our stream. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, put on our stream, boys. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh what other God. show could do that? No other show could do that. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's art. That's art. We, we got to know, <clears throat> when did Phil start the obsession with shaking things in front of the camera? I'm going to go back in history books and try to figure that out because it is definitely a thing that no other streamer on earth does, but Phil does it you, every stream you, for many different he's reasons. Not, he, he's struggling to hold it up. He's that <laughs> yeah. not a bowl full of food and he's struggling to hold it out. He's, it looks oh, like you're... jelly or something. Like, he's like... <laughs> that's heavy. That's, that's at least a pound. Struggling. That's a pound, guys. It's pretty heavy. He's got oh, long <laughs> yeah, for our American counterparts. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. What are you feeling like? We could talk about um, college college or message. Sam, you're the program director. I want to talk about college. 
I've, I've prepared some facts. I, on, I have something that I want to ask Steve about. It's a Please. topic. I think that's a pretty quick topic, though. Because yes, DSP yes, yes. has had um, very amazing dreams. Somebody asked him, oh. Phil, do you have like nightmares <laughs> and stuff? And he, first of all, he used to dream about when Cat was over the first times. He used to dream about detractors setting up hidden cameras at his house and restreaming him while he <laughs> exists, I guess. It's like Big Brother, basically. Yes. Which is an idea that I'm totally on board with. I would watch the mm. shit out of that. Oh, God. And uh, <laughs> he had a nightmare, which is more interesting. He had a nightmare mm. about working at the helicopter company. So he goes back to working there. But everybody hates him. <laughs> and I wanted to ask for Steve's <laughs> psychological insight. Considering mm. that we've had segments about this in the past where DSP has dreamed about like being the only guy in a bar. And then people just, when he's there, people go outside to smoke. And he feels all alone and stuff. So this is definitely some subconsciousness type uh, style stuff. Uh, what do you think about it, Steve? You said this would be quick. <laughs> this is not oh, going to no. be quick. <laughs> no, no. It's like sometimes sometimes your dreams can be quite literal. So whether they're, like, they're closer to reality, the more literal they tend to be. Like obviously sometimes you can have fantastical dreams that don't make sense. And then there's a fair bit of interpretation needed if you're going to really go into this but when when he's when he's got cat round and he's worried about all these like like detractors watching through live streams that's fairly obvious he's worried about people finding out and he was and at the time people were talking about this he's, he's got someone over and then the escort thing was blowing up as well so that's a fairly literal interpretation but the other stuff about dreaming about going back to college or to um to, you, to your job and, and everybody hating you that's you know if you're having anxiety dreams like that it's because you're fully aware of the situation that you're in regarding <laughs> having no friendships and no social life <laughs> like anxiety dreams are there because you're anxious you're anxious yeah. about this thing you're worried about no social life no friends like or career his, prospects i guess yeah well. yeah yeah no career prospects. he knows that this is it and this is sinking He's, he's it's very obvious that he's like no matter how hard he tries to be like i've got a very rich and fulfilling life i'm very busy i've got my wife i operate a household i, I you know i don't have free time for hobbies and things because i'm just so busy with my perfect wife he, he knows and he he wants those social relationships he wants friendships again he misses friends but he can't do anything about that because he's just such a horrible, toxic person and his mind is screaming at him. His mind knows that that's not normal. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the episode Better Than Life, Red Dwarf, where he's supposed to play this virtual reality <laughs> game. That... Four, pe four people get this in chat. I'm no, going no. To... Right, okay, so it's a virtual reality game that detects your subconscious desires and gives you whatever you want. You're supposed to be happy, better than life. And the point of the, the show is that the, the character Rimmer, his mind hates him so much that it basically corrupts the game and starts turning everything against them. So yeah. he goes from dreaming that he's got like a Cadillac and a romance, like a, a loving girlfriend to married with four kids in a family saloon. So he the, the game corrupts him and then his bills like start mounting up and he has all these debts and things and it's it's that phil like tries to have this uh, image of a, a relationship but inside he's fully aware of the the abnormalities of his life and the fact that he has no friendships and he has no career prospects and he, you know he, he wants those things but he can't get them so even his mind is screaming at him now this is not normal you are supposed to have friends and relationships and career prospects and marketable skills. You're supposed to have a more fulfilling life than you have. That's that's what his brain's trying to tell him. Yeah. That's, seriously, I'm right there. Stop me now before we go on for another four <laughs> hours, please. Yeah, and I, that was, that was the episode summed up, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> someone said, uh, yeah, you might be scared of people seeing Cat again, too. So, like, the camera mm. thing might be really mm. kind of... Can you imagine? That was, that was at the time specifically to... She's coming over in secret, wasn't it? Because he said yeah, when true. we were dating and she was over. So he was trying to keep that secret from everyone. And the worry there was obviously people are going to find out. And mm. obviously it ended up how it did. But yeah, if he was still having that dream, that that would be, a, yeah, you are worried about all these private aspects of your relationship and your life getting out. It's fairly obvious, that one. It's, it's, it's a huge worry for him. And of course it is. He's, he's accidentally shown off an email and we found out it's tied to a Scopely account. So of course he's worried about <laughs> stuff like that.
Right, well, that the, the the Scopely account, I'll have to debunk mm. this because this is mm. not uh, entirely correct. Because I made an account on Scopely with a completely fake made up email that doesn't exist, and um, they allegedly send a verification there. And when I tried to log in with it, it said the the same like "Welcome back" at mm. fake account that they got. So uh, right. most probably some some troll signed him up for Scopely. He didn't verify mm. his email, but it still turns out that yeah. uh, you know you could log in. So yeah, that's that's the, not very reliable. Yeah. The point still stands though. Like he he he's in an existence where he is fully aware that there are hundreds, if not thousands, of people that are ready to put in that email address to you know to find out this kind of stuff. You know, so I know, God, so fucking dumb, man. You know, every fucking website on earth was tried now with that fucking email. That password has better been good because you know people fucking tried it a lot. <laughs> The People amount crazy, of man. mailing lists that email has been signed up for the last 24 hours. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? Everything at email is across the internet right now. Hottest Younger email on the internet. Searching for older. <laughs> Gout and you. <laughs> oh god. Speaking of gout. We can transition into the gout topic. <laughs> Great. Yeah, nice little crystal, like crystal, nice. crystal slide transition into yeah, the gout right. conversations. I'm always appreciative of it. By the way, <laughs> we had the description, didn't we? By the way, we do have our new badges. So I saw it up here. We have, I know Indrid has the new three star gout crystal badges. I think it's extremely hype. I think Killjucker does as well. Those are the yeah, three there'll, stars. There'll be a Six few. Six months. <laughs> there will be a few original gamers in there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the red is the. I think that's the one month. That's when you're sl- starting to get inflamed. And then you go to the three star <laughs> and you're fully inflamed. <laughs> the green is you're just getting going. You can't harvest those yet. What, what's our highest tier one though? Like six months or is it one uh, year or what? The, it's the, the one year is the six star gout crystal. Yes. With that like the, the official time. colors. <laughs> I think at that Go point you should, you should change it to a bottle of cherry juice. And then you know <laughs> different bottles of cherry or juice. just cash because you could you could sell it you know you sell your crystal <laughs> for you harvest it anyways back to the gout which again again dude it's not easy just don't mention gout again and it would all be over <laughs> but he has to bring it up and said the word crystals <laughs> every time he brings it up he has to explain what gout is for those of you who don't know i have gout and also this is what gout is and this is what i should do to prevent it and this is yep. what i'm doing I have cherry turns, juice. It was great. Yeah, it turns out the cherry medical, juice is not like it, it's kind of like a uh I don't know how it's called. It's kind of placebo. Almost superstitious. Yeah, a kind of placebo thing. Mm-hmm. That it's proven that it kind of helps out, but he he drinks it like it's an antidote to gout. Mm. <laughs> like it's a health potion. <laughs> I love the, the medical terminology that I have a uric imbalance in my blood. So this results in the formation of crystallized. <laughs> and look at his chat. Look at the people in his chat. He has Derek and Jade. <laughs> there are people that don't know what these words even mean. Yeah. Talk about make... Pixar. Talk about Persona 5, please. <laughs> Can you talk about Pixar movies, please? Play Dwee, Disney Dwee White. <laughs> I have no idea what uric acid crystals are, sir. <laughs> uh, so, uh, w- yeah, what happened is that his foot started hurting, but it's not the familiar sting from the gout. It's not yeah. that oh, that's not that signature old thing. This, this was the start of that that old man segment, wasn't it? Because it was that, and then he went on to do the the um, the fucking peanuts in the back garden oh, thing. God. I forgot Hello, about that gout part. sting, my old friend. <laughs> I've got to do you with again. It. Like, why mention it? I know. Well, go ahead, Mirka. Yeah. Please, please. You were uh, going somewhere because this wasn't the, the familiar sting of the gout friend. It was a little bit different. Go ahead, right. Mirka. And- well, basically, he was kind of confused to what is happening because his his foot started hurting in inexplicable ways, and he thought, you know, oh, maybe I I tore some what was it said, some ligament or something. <laughs> ligament, <know>. yeah. <laughs> throws out like, words. <laughs> like he's like an NBA player is gonna be sidelined for six months yeah. for for just like sitting on his on his ass all day and walking around the house. What's it, man? It's like the <laughs> ligament. <laughs> These are parts of your body that are like muscles. <laughs> oh God! So this is a new, a new infl- affliction that uh, who knows how the fuck he got it. It can't be from working out or walking mm. or power walking because he's not doing that shit anymore. You know that. 
It was it's just like on the. He said it was on the top of his foot, didn't he? Yeah. Which, again, I mean, I say I feel like I say this every week, but why the fuck are you bringing this up, man? <laughs> Sometimes you just get random pains. <laughs> Yeah, Especially I know. when you're like, you know, late thirties, early forties, that shit starts. Mm-hmm. To, you know, you're gonna start getting that shit. Sorry, it's just life, man. But you don't bring it up on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you imagine? <laughs> okay, boys, gotta talk about something serious. <laughs> yeah, he got carpal tunnel in his foot <laughs> from, from too much video game. <laughs> you guys, I have to lay out the video games. We're doing a Q and A only podcast. <laughs> Walking to find the DoorDash. That's that's how we got it. Speaking of Q and A, I I I was I, I did a quick run over to the the, the shop last night when uh, just before he got to the Pro Jared React, and he was like, "Once we finish the React, we're gonna have the decompression segment." And I was like, "What? What's he gonna say? What's he gonna say?" And of course, it was Q and A. I was like, oh. I started kissing myself. I'm like, you just put on the fucking cat's musical. It needs to decompress. <laughs> <laughs> we just did Les Miserables up here. We got to take decompression break. <laughs> I don't know if he actually did it. I'm not sure what oh happened. I, I, I gave that that um, that react like two minutes and I was out, man. But oh, I could I could not last a single fucking second. Godspeed to anyone that could. That could last through that. I don't watch Phil eat or react. I'm out. <laughs> I can't do it, guys. <laughs> this is Awful. we did, didn't do that bit we were thinking about, uh, Sam. As long as you can say these four things, you're good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And you're done. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's that. That's the end of it. And if you add Jared, you could be like, "Yep, this is how that relates to me and why I'm better than him." And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do something like that at some point. Maybe. <laughs> It'll be a WPRG thing or something. Yeah. We should do something for you stream. members. Yeah, let's do a reaction team. Yeah. Just make it all about it. us. Yeah. Never let's get watch. through a documentary. Just keep pausing it. Oh, oh, look, we're talking about ants. Well, let me tell you my ant story because once upon a time, my I aunt's am. name is Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me gout. <laughs> <laughs> she never That's told me. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh okay. god. But I guess we gotta talk about it, but just really I have no I, I can't handle it. But Steve, I know you have something to say about the Jared the pro Jared. I know the eight I saw the asexual thing, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. We kind of talked about that earlier. Any thoughts you want to share about the uh, Pro Jam React on yesterday? It was incredible. Yeah, a couple of people have, have mentioned, like I said, a lot of people have asked me about Phil's sex life, and that's a sentence I can say. <laughs> um, yeah, he he's very weird about, um, like, well, polyamorous couples, basically. Basically, any sort of, like, non-heteronormative, non-straight relationships. He's very, very, like, Again, again, like sex, he's made uncomfortable by them. This is a thing that's outside his experience and, and what he considers normal. So it's it's alien and weird to him. And and, and if he can't mock it, he's he's made uncomfortable by it. And, and this is a thing that he was very, like, uh, polyamorous, <laughs> <laughs> you know, about it during the daily rap. And it's like, I think. I think part of it is motivated by his space. If this was another polyamorous couple, if it was in, like, say, the Final Fantasy VII house, yeah, yeah. you know, that, that would be different. His, his approach would still be like, oh, that's a bit weird. But it won't be as dismissive and hot. <clears throat> but I think, you know, a lot of it was pro-Jared. But there's still some air of, this is something that I don't understand. It's outside my experience and what I think is normal. So I'm going to be a bit... Uh, about it mm-hmm. it's just another un- thing that makes him uncomfortable like and and again because it's a relationship it's an adult thing and sex is going to be involved and discussed so he's automatically on on edge but yeah the fact that it's also what do you mean there's more than one person how are you in a relationship with more than one person? that doesn't make any sense to me why would you you know and then he's off on one like that because he doesn't <laughs> know he doesn't understand and he doesn't have an experience of relationships that involve communicating and working with somebody to make a relationship work he thinks now oh, i'm married that's it <laughs> that's a relationship done and he doesn't have any understanding of, of of other forms of relationship 
Yeah. And so. if it was like 10, 15 years ago, he would have made a, a really poorly, you know, he would have just made a really bad joke about it. Um, mm. Yeah. But he, he knows he can't do things like that anymore. So now he has nothing. You might get the odd little snide comment out of the side of his mouth, you know, like like I assume he did. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's the same with the whole the sex thing as well. Like he doesn't know how to react to this stuff anymore. You know, he at one point in his life it was like, yeah, we can just laugh about this and take the piss out of it. But now it's like, what 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 do you do? You know. So now it's just like he's gone the other way, and it's all just sort of super weird and like. Yeah, hey, I shut mm. down. <laughs> but then mm. to, to counter that, which makes it weird, like your Steve was saying, is that that fucking game, whatever we're in Japan game. Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza. Yeah. And <clears throat> dude at the bathhouse, we're we're fighting, and they're in the bathtub. You got to be naked, and you get out. And they start fucking fighting, and it's the funniest thing in the world. Oh my god, this mm. is the funniest shit ever. Two dudes fighting, and they're naked, dude. They're totally nude, <laughs> flopping around. If, if you imagine were women, it? it would be the most childish thing he's ever seen. The most immature thing. But they're yeah. dudes, so it's hilarious. If they were women, you would have had an extreme close-up of like the wood paneling of the sauna. <laughs> you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen what was going on there. You'd have had a look at like, the, the grouting on the tiles. You know? <laughs> I don't know how they do this, dude. This floor is looking pretty high. <laughs> But Looks like it, a real tile floor. That's yeah. <laughs> the guy's beating his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's just, it's, and then my favorite part of the whole thing was when he's talked about it the next day. He said, you know, people are going to say I'm immature about it or something, but, but I mean, I don't watch the detractor stuff, but I'm sure that's what they're saying about me. <laughs> that was the best. That was the fucking best. Yeah. I'm sure we, they're saying we... I'm all immature about that stuff, but I mean, uh, I don't watch it, but that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> so yeah. immature, dude. It's just a minute. I feel like <laughs> we he- we've heard that at least one other time recently than than this. You know, I feel like that's starting to creep into the mm-hmm. the way he talks about this stuff now. You know, where he's, he's sort of saying, "Well, I'm sure this is what they're taking the mick out of me for this week." You know, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm Good sure guess. that's just that's just occurred to you now, hasn't it, Phil? It's nothing to do with the fact that you're watching this stuff is it <laughs> what great guy. he's th- that's the thing he is self-aware enough to realize why people are making fun of him but not self-aware enough to constrain himself he's too impulsive mm-hmm. to constrain yeah, himself mm-hmm. like restrain himself from doing those things so he does it and then he knows why people are laughing and he's still mad yeah mm. it's so easy just don't look you could pretend you're looking at a tv watch i'll pretend i'm looking at the camera i'm not really looking guys you know, he could just do that and move on with the game. And it'll be so, no one would say anything, but he has to make this fridge a big deal. He has to make those two hot ro- robots a big deal because he, he had to make away. that. Oh, what was the game? One of them interactive movie ones um, uh, where, yeah, the, where the, there's like the, the devil in me. Yeah. Yeah. The two women kiss and he's like, oh, my God. And then the achievement pops up and he latches onto that immediately. Oh, I got an achievement for that. It's like he can't even engage <laughs> with the idea. Like I have to like say, you know, you, you're playing the game and that scene comes on. You might be like, oh, I never thought they'd get together because they're like this and they're like this. And they were arguing, you know, like he can't engage with the idea of it being like a relationship between two characters whose development and plot growth he's been watching. Instead, he's immediately like, oh, my God, it's kissing. Oh my god, it's two women kissing. Uh, mm. What do I do? Oh god, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <That's pretty good. laughs> oh my god. Two dudes fighting in a in a bathhouse with their balls out. Like, oh my god, they're flopping all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, it's yeah. kind of slow. If you're enjoying it, there are many ways to support. <laughs> While we're on the, the pro Jared thing, the whole thing got uh, demonetized. The whole React segment got demonetized, and he made a community post crying about it. And he was begging for people to uh, become a member, tip, or both, yeah, so they can make up, they can negate the negativity. Like, oh, even though shit, he said in the past that he, he makes no money off of these things, and it's all just like it's it's not even he doesn't even count it. He makes a pittance from it. Just a heads up, guys. Great. That's my favorite. Hey guys, just want to let you guys know that our last video was demonetized. So if you could tip, uh, membership, or both, just in it, case somebody out there thought you could only do one. You know, guys, we really like doing this thing, and we get a lot of, like, copyrighted songs, but we love playing them. They're very fun to play, but they always get copyrighted. So you might want to contribute in other kinds of ways. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, to be fair, that was my fault. So. <laughs> yeah, fucking Dave Mustaine. Yeah. Yeah, that was like a false flag attack. You got us blocked so we can look like victims. So yes, people yes. can support us more. Oh, it, was, it was all pre-planned, man. All pre-planned, there was no, yeah. there was no accident yeah. about that. Yeah. And then uh, and then he, he got sick and skip the podcast a couple of times so people wouldn't grow suspicious. But we figured you out, Steve. You got to figure it out. No, he you must... disappeared right after that, didn't he? Uh-huh. Mm. Right after that. <laughs> right after that. <laughs> I saw I, I didn't see any of this pro Jared. So I, like I said, I, I, I skipped out like after not more than five minutes, so, so, let's say. Um but the lead up to it uh, got me where he was, I forget what day it was now, but he um, he went on about like trying to justify the fact that everyone else gets to do these react things and then clip them and put them out piecemeal uh, over the course of a week. And, uh, and no, they don't. You, know, you, <laughs> they think they do. don't. you think they do and they kind of do. But they don't. They don't do it like you, Phil. Nobody does it like you. (laughs) Like, nobody, for a start, streams themselves live, uh, doubling the length of the thing they're watching, (laughs) pausing it every two seconds. You know, okay, maybe some people do, but you you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Probably not to that extent. And certainly, (laughs) they're certainly not. right now. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Apart from Steve of the Dead. But you don't put but it out he, piecemeal, and yeah, you know what? you're right. Certainly not in you twenty minute segments, anyway. This like uh, today, I was gonna watch some of his uh, fucking marathon bullshit, and I couldn't find it on his channel, so I just went on Dark Dave Raw, and I just watched mm. it there. Yeah, so he I, said I could have even hate watched him on his own channel, but he's too fucking stupid to put up his own video, so I had to watch his trolls. <laughs> 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 that's the thing yeah exactly like it, it's it's ridiculous like people people will do long reacts they'll react to a whole film and then you know you'll get 20 minutes of it and you know the, the copywritten stuff will be filtered out in the background and you know they'll, they'll get away with it that way and stuff but it's it's a short video uh summing up the entire film and if you want more you can you know sign up to their patreon and watch the whole film with them if you want you know that kind of thing it's not Let's watch this thing in its entirety and then double its length and then cut it down into however many parts it's going to be. I have no idea what he's doing. Is it? Is it I think he wants one a day. Or... Yeah. One a <laughs> yeah. day. Yeah. One. What's the, yeah. the content? Drip it out. They get the, got the drip going. Yeah. <laughs> That's better than 10 a day, though. Well, true. <laughs> true. What's better? I mean, and well, he's, he's, okay. But another, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Steve. For, for. It's just quickly, like I've said before, like he he he's under this impression that other streamers do that exact thing, um, and they don't. Like you know, like we said with with XQC or um, Moist Critical, you know, it'll be that chill segment at the start of the stream where they're just hanging out, probably finishing off their dinner or whatever, and like we saw with um, with XQC, yeah, and they'll just stick something on, react to it, and then that becomes a, a short clip that they stick on their YouTube because it's you know it's something that happened that one day. It's yeah. not a pre-planned project. It's not an event. You know, it's it's it just was. It just was a thing that happened spontaneously, probably, and it became a piece of content. Um, and he just he, he, you can't get that through to him. You know where that impression comes from, though. It, it comes from him watching Moist Critical. He, what, he saw oh, he saw yeah. a clip of you know him reacting to the score and mentioning in there, and then he saw that this channel was just dedicated to clips of Moist Critical, and he was like, "Why can't I do that?" He just sits there and clips himself. Why can't I do that? And he doesn't understand, like you said, that's that's not how it works. That's not what they do. No, so. no. No, exactly, and and, we, and with you, like obviously, no disrespect. To, you know, you're you're doing <laughs> I know. that. I can take um, the jokes, <laughs> but you're you have something to offer at every time you pause. You know, you're he'll say something, and you will then explain. You know what he's just done. Why you know the whole psychology and everything, and mm-hmm. there's an audience for that. You know, and as as we know, and but with Phil, it's just here's how this thing relates to me for the 50th time, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead, Marka. Yeah, I think it's worth mentioning in terms of support for his first big project on DSP Reacts, this was a massive failure. (laughs) (laughs) Um, This was a project. (laughs) 
This is a big project. This took months. Oh, yes. This was, it was the first big React project, wasn't it? This was like uh, the, the first Avengers movie. It was like the beginning of a new phase of content. So he made like 150 bucks, I think. A yeah. hundred and something, or a hundred was from one guy, 20 yes. was from one minute man, and 30 was from like individual dudes. So, yes. it, yeah. And he spent like what, $80 on DoorDash? So, <laughs> big ups. But I, I think uh, in the daily rap, if, if there exists one, and if you check it out, he's going to say that it was the best time he's ever had. There was, there was, that's where I've seen a clip of him going, polyamory. <laughs> So there's a daily rap following that react. So. My favorite part of this was when he talked about that same topic and he said, for years, you guys were talking about the length of the pre-stream. This is what before it was a podcast, oh, which is yeah. when I was talking for gameplay. I would for years people would get to actually make it shorter. But what do I do when I turn on these bigger streamers? People way bigger than me, like four times as many viewers as me. They're doing the same thing. So that's it. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not taking it anymore. <laughs> what is that? What are doing the same thing? As far as I know, there's nobody else who does an hour up to an hour and a half. Actually, it's a fixed length of like 90 minutes at this there's point. No one. There is of no just one. bullshitting before you get to your actual content. <laughs> there's nobody else who does this. No. no. Well, guys, looks like we're finishing early. Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I love when Moist Critical does that. That's my favorite part of Moist Critical is the Q and A. Oh, yeah. He has nothing else to talk about. Yeah, can you yeah, imagine Q and A? Any other shits on his chat? <laughs> you know, it's, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has just been released, uh, and Maximilian dude going, oh, "I'm so hyped to play this game, but we're still 40 minutes away." And so like, <laughs> 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 that's a good April Fools. God damn it, we gotta imagine? get him to do it. <laughs> He does do that though. It's amazing. He was Hogwarts recently, wasn't it? Oh yeah, and he did it with Elden Ring as well. It's like I'm hyped to play this game, but um, yeah, I've run out of things to talk about. So I've done all the gaming news. <laughs> That's Let's... a good point because like Rolling questions? Stone five hundred one is have a good point because yeah. Admin Gold, for example, he'll like just like be doing shit like, but he though he's one of those streamers like XQC. Like I just turn the camera on and I'm just doing whatever I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, there is streamers like that. So I think Phil is kind of extrapolating, like, he turned in Asmongold, Asmongold was just talking, and then he played gameplay. She's like, oh, yeah, I do that, too. Cool. But Asmongold yeah, but the, is one of the streamers that's like, do whatever the fuck they want the yeah, whole that's, time. <laughs> that's the key thing, though, is do whatever they want, not uh -huh. schedule out uh, whatever it is, gaming news, bit of drama, uh, schedule... <laughs> and then uh, and then the fill it in. yeah and then, like, and then fill it in with q a and then probably schedule again and then support and, you know there's there's these set things with with him oh, right. not... don't forget to, don't, don't forget to remind them you're not shilling you're not paid there's no oh, advertisement yeah. reminder i'm not getting advertisement for this so please if you could i'm not making anyone have revenue either so just want to let you guys know so many ways to help me so many fucking ways dude you can't even count all of them <laughs> yeah, and then he was like, there's no referral links here. Like, why the fuck not? I would like to get a discount, and you would get something in return, you fucking asshole. Why not referral links? So you could stop begging, you fucking idiot. Oh, and we he's not a shield. He's not a sellout. He's, he's an honest gamer, legitimate gamer. Unlike you, Meerkat, clearly. You're not legitimate. I'm a fake gamer, yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a insert latest console here. No, you're still a PS4. I can see you. <laughs> oh yeah, and I I play it through like uh, remote play if I want to put it on stream. So I don't even have a capture card. I'm, I'm oh that my god! Paid. Oh my god! This guy's not legitimate. <laughs> Wait, there you go. Um, go quickly, Super Chuffer says Asman's got it re refined to a format: React, Reddit check, and gameplay. And and but the the Reddit check part on its own will probably lead you down several different avenues you don't you probably don't know what what you're going to get i've never seen one of his streams but i'm just assuming you'll check reddit and he's like oh look at this thing and they'll end up watching a video and you know mm. it could be whatever yeah, he, that whatever's happening that yeah. day but yeah that's how he, it's different he probably fucking goes on youtube and searches it and then finds you know because those big streamers they get thousand clip channels like you think dsp is a lot well, those biggest streamers have, have way more they all have subreddits as well where yeah, you can yeah. submit stuff they're all like, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah, hey guys, you know, we're, we're watching this. It's, somebody posted this on the subreddit. Um, if you've got stuff to submit, the subreddit link is in the description. You don't even have anything like that. They no, have ways to interact with him. Yeah, to yeah. suggest. Interact with me? Hey, uh, bitch. 
you want to suggest a video that I might watch? Pay up, bitch. And, and then be like, like, you know, uh, <laughs> recently people haven't been liking the videos, so this is the challenge to you guys paying me money to send those videos. <laughs> Step up, do better. Get I'm better. challenging you. <laughs> that was a, like... its own segment, and he actually challenged oh. people. He used that term. He challenged people to give him money oh. and send him better clips. And you know what he was watching the next time? Cat videos and pet videos. <laughs> and... News news fail compilations where people in the news say stupid things and then you laugh at them from like 2014. I saw a cat swimming video like that was like yeah, yeah, yeah. literally I was 11. I thought this was peak, you know, peak entertainment. This is what the Internet can do. This is incredible. This is all I want. Cat. Oh, swimming shit. Right yeah. now, dude. <laughs> Phil is now 2023 watching a cat swim. I'm just mind blown. <laughs> you know what? I, I saw I saw that somewhere and but I. I disconnected it from DSP. I was like, I'm sure I've seen that recently. I forgot it was him that was watching it. <laughs> it's cat swimming, man. My mind is fucking blown. That's like when my parents send you shit from the internet. You're like, just, just, just you do the thumbs up because you have to. Like, all right, you know, just don't oh, touch shit. me. <laughs> yeah, because he goes, he goes, huh, look at that swimming. You know, it's like. <laughs> Literally, that's what my parents sent me, you know, like, did you load this? Like, uh, yeah. I, it was, just, uh, there was a great one. Where I, I literally felt like my grandpa was reacting to it because it was like a car that crashed. And then he paused and he was like, okay, how, how would this happen? I think like the car was driving like this. And then it hit like this. And then it did like, blah, 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 blah. and then it ended up like this. Oh, God. Like, I think it, the, the dude is just going senile at like 40. That's incredible. <laughs> He should be studied, like yep. legit studied. Not like the shit we do here where we just call him fucking stupid and we make fun of his gout crystals. He should legit have like his, his brain open up by the top top scientists in the world. And they should find the on what is wrong with him. And then they should reverse engineer this into like some kind of a virus and use this for like terrorism purposes. Yes, war is war. <laughs> war, war. Uh, weapon, a weapon of war. <laughs> Worst he's going to open his skull and then he'll be like that's it in <laughs> put it back <laughs> we got some more support from Robo Steve but luckily they did add welcome back Steve to that as well thank, thank you, you. thanks mom yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, um... having so much fun here but we do have some messages to get to Sam go ahead your point yeah. first Thanks. I'd completely forgotten about the messages. I was just going to say, let's. Uh, we ask let's the messages. On. We play one. Thanks, yeah. assholes. You fell for the marketing scheme. <laughs> yeah, kidding. so far in our in our not playing uh, weird bits and stuff stream, we've we done one message and a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we got a song and a bit. How far yeah. off can we? How much can we lie to you guys? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Come on then. Right here is Arthur Brown with a non-trivia style submission. Okay. Style. I just very quickly want to touch on one thing regarding Phil's day off for Valentine's Day. Yeah, they wanted to go to the candy shop, which is weird because you know, Phil says he doesn't eat sugar or candies anymore, but he also said he doesn't drink on stream anymore, and uh, here we are. But regardless, my point is they want to go make their boxes of candy. Fine, but it's Valentine's Day. Why would you not think, hey, Let's make boxes of candies for each other. You de it's demonstrating you know what your significant other likes. Great point. It's demonstrating, you know, it becomes a gift showing, you know, I understand you. And it shows a romantic connection. Yeah. Great point. And you can go ahead and say, I just answered my own question by saying it shows a romantic connection and they don't have one. Uh, great point. Great Take fucking point. Sir. Question. We don't even need to say anything. We can just play the next one. Yeah. We'll talk about gout for the next 20 minutes. I'm, I'm all up for that. Q and A. <laughs> no, that's that, that's it's such a thing to do when you don't have anything else to do, right? Yeah. Oh fuck, Valentine's Day. You want to go to the coffee shop or the candy shop, honey? Yeah. I mean, we could do that. The squirrels seem pretty happy. I'm gonna... <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even the only like cop out thing. That happened that day either was there because there was that and then there was like should we just not bother going to the restaurant you know. You know. <laughs> please get out cat get out that's nonsense yeah he asked um why would you not think and there's the there's the problem right there there's the issue it involves thinking <laughs> it involves planning it involves consideration of yep. somebody else 
uh, why, why would why would Phil do that? Yeah, are you crazy? Yeah. What are you nuts? You want to get his fuck? wife? What yeah, if, for all just the... call this dinner off. You're you're shaking your head yes, right? <laughs> yeah, it, you yeah. are shaking your head yes. Yeah, okay, we'll call it off. <laughs> yeah, thief guild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> go do that thing. They still have radio quest. They'll, there's like a million of those. They go mm. forever, honey. Hey, Kat, uh, I don't think we're gonna have <laughs> enough time to go to our uh, romantic dinner, but we we have a lot of time to waste uh, playing with cats and going to the candy shop. So let's let's hit the the fucking cat shelter. Am I right? <laughs> Yeah. Didn't didn't he have to go and pick up her medication as well? Yes. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, that no. was a different day. He tried to door dash the medication. Uh, they fucked it up, which led to him begrudgingly having to go pick it up. Which how could they not medicine. read the, the written instructions? They give point by point instructions to get filled when you are having to give point by point instructions of how to access <laughs> your house. <laughs> You rely too much on delivery services and need to go out and pick things up more. I just he, he did it again, he, and again he he immediately went on the the delivery driver. It's gig economy couldn't read simple English, you yep. know. Make sure to make fun of them. Make fun of mm. Be racist. Those are the key points. Make call other races stupid. They can't read. And then uh, I'm not lazy though. That's the key point. Yeah. I'm yeah. not lazy though. I will I will <laughs> sit there and track you on the phone on the app but i won't answer the phone to you when you say i can't follow your instructions <laughs> that is a I fucking classic man i love that i love that <laughs> the dude was like legitimately salty it, it came across that the delivery dude was like wait so you can fucking look at me on the gps and text me but you can't fucking call me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you just call me no what are you nuts I'm a fucking king I'll talk to you peons jose what? whatever you happen to be called but what you know medicine does it. she have? It, we don't what know. I didn't say it, yeah. What, didn't say. What's she, what's, there's something up with her. What's she taking? <laughs> Squirrel bite. <laughs> <laughs> Rabies. <laughs> Squirrel bite. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> she tried to feed it like in Disney films. She tried to like, hold it out and it's handed. It. God bless her. It's all the fun she gets, that asshole. Get out. Please. You need to get out. <laughs> Go back. It to can't Subaru. be worth this. It can't be worth. He was a good man. He was a head. kind man. He enjoyed music. He had <laughs> passions. He had passions in life. Great speakers in that car. Go to go <sighs> to go to Mick. Go to ALT. Yeah. You know, take yeah, out yeah. two go, go for Meerkat, and then the three years could live together in Polycule. <laughs> if it'll be like oh, polyamorous. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She went to a polyamorous relationship. Oh, God. I knew she was crazy, huh, boys? Right, Jade? Well, just me and you left, Jade. What do you want me to watch? Oh, hey, Derek. <laughs> oh, Derek. Looks like we have three people on stream now. How's it going, guys? We, uh, uh, we have a couple more topics to go to that were kind of uh, very yeah. heavily requested, I would say. Yes, yes. Uh, so first of all is uh, Keemstar and Murahar from Some Ordinary Gamers. They were together on a podcast, and they, they dragged the shit out of DSP. Oh, I watched <laughs> this. Like a new <laughs> asshole. It was so fucking good. <laughs> it was so funny. So they I basically love, yeah, said that yeah. he is worse than both Boogie and Wings, the, the people that DSP believes that he is firmly above because they're yeah. fat and they're slobs, and they realize they're lol cows, and he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And um, they they dragged his ass about the the champion stuff, even though they kind of downplayed it again because not many people apparently know that he spent like actually over a hundred thousand, and that's mm -hmm. a pretty, you know, that's a pretty that's it, good yeah. estimate. Yes, yeah, and it, it, it it's pretty generous. So um, yeah, they they had this again. Uh, Kim Star talked about the podcast that it would be a great idea. They would all get paid a lot, and uh, DSP wasn't the the. He was the only one who declined it, and they basically laughed at him for like 15 minutes, which is a great segment. Yeah, I guess Should people have wanted him our, our cakes on it. <laughs> they would have taken it. <laughs> I, my favorite part is was Keith. You could see Keith was so hyped for this man. You could see the anger. He's like, "God damn it, Phil! I want to give you this money." I mean, and Keith's our knows he had some real power in that. Like, could you imagine how awesome that would be? Like, oh, yeah. you, <laughs> you know, he had such conviction. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, you can say what you want about Keemstar, but you can see even just in those videos that he put out, uh, the little, you know, the, the ones where he was roasting Phil like a year ago, you can see there's a passion there. And it's like, it's, mm. it's, it's quite refreshing to see because it's, it, you know, say what you want, but like the, you can see that, that enthusiasm there, which you just don't get from 
well, any of the people that would have been in that podcast. <laughs> but again, say what you will about Keemstar. You can go to a company and go, three million subscribers a video, three million yeah. views every stream. Yeah. What can you give us? He can mm-hmm. pull money. Yeah. He could get sponsorships. He, he was serious about that. He would not have fucked about when it came to like marketing it and getting sponsorships yeah. and things. Yeah, he's an asshole, but he knows how to run to, uh, how to run his business. Look at Logan yeah. Paul. The dude is in the WWE, and he's like yeah. an objectively piece of shit in a fucking yeah. scammer oh. and an asshole. <laughs> Phil don't watch and, wrestling. No, no, no. Oh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> well, what's that? Keemstar w- knows how w- to run the business. He w- could get. <laughs> <laughs> he could get everything sponsored within minutes. He would sell merch. He would know how to run it, and it would mm-hmm. be a massive success. And all of them would never have to worry about money ever again. And all they had to do is set their pride aside for a little bit and go on this podcast, talk a bunch of shit. They do. They wouldn't even have to talk about like controversial issues. They just had to be <laughs> themselves because yes, that's anything. what people tune in for. And yeah, the haters exist. would watch it. Fans <laughs> would watch them. The, the crossover <laughs> audience would watch them. Everybody would fucking watch them. Yeah. It's like a, you just a, talk about yourself. Yeah. Literally yeah. Phil's favorite subject. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Eddie, yeah. Literally, come me. on and talk about you. Yeah, what do you think about the sky? That's enough. <laughs> they'll go, yeah. they'll it'd be awesome. Like, all right, tell me about your history with rain, and it would be incredible. You know, yeah. like that's it, yeah. man. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Topics don't matter. Just just that initial like curiosity to find out how they would exist with each other mm. is more mm. than enough. Um, and because you you wouldn't you would legitimately not know what to expect from that situation because Phil never interacts with anyone you never see him up with anyone on his stream so yeah. fuck me like how would that you know what would that be like yeah right because you know the the dynamic would also work a little bit because Wings is the guy who can shoot the shit he can talk about random stuff because you see him hanging out with people on his streams like playing video games. A boogie yeah. is the guy who knows what you should say and what you shouldn't say. He's like the fence sitter. He knows how to form his opinion so it's not like super controversial. And yep. DSP is the hermit who never <laughs> fucking talks with anybody else. He's going to like basically like conceal his true self and pretend like he's something else like with the like with the quartering the interview type of situation. So it would work out because every once in a while you would get like the nugget of of gold. That would come yeah, out yeah. of this podcast of one of them saying something really stupid and the other two having to react in some way and not knowing how. <laughs> but you can see how Phil reacts in that sort of dynamic when was it? I think it was Apex, one of the shooters. I don't think it was Apex. Yeah, it was Apex. It was like a multiplayer. It wasn't Apex. Yeah. When yeah. He's, he had, is it Kekon and uh, someone else were on? And, uh, and chat. Lions. Yeah, yeah. Chat loved them. Chat were active. Chat were talking about them. And Phil just couldn't handle that at all. No, oh, no. The attention oh, of somebody no. else. Somebody else being more popular on my stream. Fuck that. No. Done. <clears throat> Not having it again. They can't what be funnier I... than me. They can't be smarter than me. They can't be more popular. <laughs> Their lines are funny. I wrote those. I told them what to say before the stream. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> but you know what? I think DSP would benefit greatly from this because it would attract a whole new set of eyes who would mm-hmm. maybe even stick up for him. So they would be mm-hmm. like, wait, people do what? They make like fucking whole podcast talking about you would have a bunch of fucking idiots i'm gonna go hate on him and some mm. some at least some kind of dick writers like that so at least he would get something out of it and he would get paid a lot and he would have something to talk about on his podcast to have something to like plug he would have yeah. some merch about it if he's smart and he would just be be set he would do great and all yeah. he has to do is show up like once a week do like a hour and a half thing where they talk about fucking gaming or whatever and then go back to his own stream and make his own money. But you, Keemstar brought up the great point. DSP doesn't want money. He wants to keep this train he's currently on going because that is all he knows. Like, a, you know, an animal you keep in a cage too long and you take the cage away, they still want to go right back in that cage. That's what Phil has done to his own life, right? He's like, mm-hmm. I don't want to be out of this cage. I don't know what's out there. I know what we got in here. I know why the caged pig sings. Is this like a weird <laughs> Stockholm syndrome? Like a it's, it's Stanford self, syndrome? Self, Connecticut self syndrome? Done. Yeah, self, self done. <laughs> self done Stockholm yeah. syndrome, right? I, that's is, Keem's, I elaborated on Keem's thought, to be fair, but he wants to be concept. in total control. There's a concept in psychology called learned helplessness. And if you think about like 
your experiments where your animals in a cage and there's two levers and one has food and one has electric shocks or whatever if if all there is is punishment if there's no food if there's no reward only ever punishment eventually your animal just gives up and he just accepts its fate and it stays in the cage and he's basically done that he's learned helplessness himself into this sort of hermit lifestyle where he's having anxiety dreams about people watching his his his, his phone <laughs> when, he's, when he's just sneaking his missus about and nobody at work likes him you know <laughs> he's done it all to himself but also there's this thing where he wants to have a viewer base that it's small enough to control where yes. he kind of realizes the thing he does the, the th thing he he does are pretty toxic with him like shitting on people and he doesn't want to have to rely on his restraint from doing those things so he would rather have a small base that he can control than be much bigger and attract more eyes to him like those people watching boogie or those people watching wings because uh, eventually like somebody's gonna make an article about him like he went viral on reddit that one time like he had the dick Sturdo oh, article code. written about yeah. him yeah, so he he really is terrified of that shit. Yeah, that's true. But it's just a yep. he wants to be like where he is now. That's that's for sure. That's for sure. He's scared of the outside world. Um, before we we we're, somehow it's already what time it is now. I do want to talk about college because I have a few things to share about this. I did a little research here because Phil claimed one of these days I can't remember which fucking day it was. The only reason, guys. Oh, oh, this right, he did not yes. get into an <laughs> Ivy League school oh. because he was so pasty white and he didn't know anybody and he was not rich. It was he, they all rejected him, not based on scores, you motherfuckers. It was not based on scores. You need to know someone, be not white, or be rich. Get fucked, everybody else. All this podcast, fuck. Too goddamn white. <laughs> but, but real quick, only a, a few players, from, a few people from his school did get made in. They were all minority sports players. That's oh, no. how dare they? Minority Street Fighter doesn't sports. count, I guess. <laughs> it's not. It wasn't an eSport back then. They had accents. <laughs> Is that what he said? They no, no, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> he he did, no. Minority sport yeah, players no. was the real word. He that is the sound bite. Minority, minority sports team. players. <laughs> also, his counselor said, "There's nothing you can do." <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? Because let me guess, he, he's he talks really just true. like Phil does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, strangely enough, they they do about super chat, super thanks, yeah. all that stuff. Great, you you you've done everything you need to. You're an outstanding student. Phil, you, you know, I love your performance. Your <laughs> essays are meaningful. So uh, this meeting's this counselor meeting is kind of dumb. We got about 15 minutes left. You got any questions for me? <laughs> <laughs> We got some time to kill here. <laughs> you know, this is our only meeting of the day, so if you have something to say, you can say it now, you know? <laughs> this is my only meeting of the day, so... I, I can't do two meetings yet, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was his mentor. Sorry, it was his mentor. Excuse me, his mentor. It probably means it was some random person not even working at the school. But anyways, he admitted... Also, he tried his ass off in high school, dudes. I don't know if you knew this. He tried his ass off. He had various clubs. <laughs> various clubs. Oh, just, just let it go. Various clubs. He was in school musicals, dude. And he did a ton of community service. Get the fuck out of here. That's tons of elect extracurriculars. <laughs> I don't know about you, but clubs for me were like a serious thing. You don't just do various clubs. What is he walking around and like, hey, guys. <laughs> You're muted, Meerkat. Oh, fuck me. Uh, he was just getting kicked out of all the clubs. <laughs> so he had to do story. all of them. It's like, oh, this, this dude with the big head? Yeah, we don't want him here. <laughs> and he was just like rocking back and forth the, the whole time. <laughs> Welcome to the chess club. You want to join? What's this? Well, I don't know if you know this, but I'm pretty good. <laughs> you know, he gets his ass beat. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> The chess club, yeah, he starts playing, club. like, Connect Four. <laughs> Other kids are playing chess. 
<laughs> the chess club starts with now hundreds of years. Chess has been around for thousands of years. The earliest known games date back to this period. Now, my history with chess. Can we play the game, please? He's talked, <laughs> he's talked about that community service thing before, though. When he when yeah. he mentioned like charity and faith and all that, and he was like, "I, I didn't like doing that. That's why that was charity." <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, he, he played chess, and he, when the when he's playing with the with the black figures, he just bites his nails the whole time, so he can't play. <laughs> These guys, I like them. <laughs> Your team looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> I'll play the Why don't guy. I get the powerful team? What is this? Is this game rigged? <laughs> oh, your min- minority team looks hot. <laughs> anyway, have so we, let's keep we, going. We, has, it, has it been noted before? It probably has that it isn't just black people that he bites his nails at. Because I posted the other day in our Discord. Um, when he was playing like a dragon as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> One word. Um, uh, like a dragon uh... Yeah. <laughs> he can't just he can't just be cool, can he? He can't just say oh, I was playing like a dragon or you know, he has to say the whole thing. I was playing Elder Scrolls for Oblivion the other day and uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, the uh, yeah. the Oblivion Crisis solved. Uh... <laughs> But he was playing that, and there was like, it was a, you know, a Chinese, an old elderly Chinese man, taught, you know, like a your, t- your typical sort of, I don't know, um, wise Chinese person, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> on screen anyway, talking, and Phil was sat there biting his nails. <laughs> Now that now that Sam mentioned uh, Oblivion, I can't uh, help but bring this up. Have you guys seen this weird fucking edit he has going on with Oblivion? <laughs> oh, yeah. That animated yeah, bit. Ah. So stupid. <laughs> no, what? He worked on that for months, dude. <laughs> like he he recorded a bunch of voice lines, sent it to some guy, and they edited this like Oblivion kind of. They modded him in Oblivion oh, with like right, his, yeah. his own model, and it's him yeah. killing the trolls. But the audio is all fucked up, so it, it, it comes through, like, the left channel only. Oh, this so is you listen to this, <laughs> and it's only on the left side. It's so fucking god-awful, man. Dude, it's popping this, this off. Is, this is like when Chris Chan writes, like, his, his counselors and the cops and things into Sonic 2 comics. This is like, <laughs> I can't deal with you so i'm going to like hey, oh look yeah you know feeling you know the, the, he did it with skyrim as well didn't he with like the, there was a troll and it was a tip animation and there was a troll and it came up dsp sucks and then he had jasper fush rodaring him off and oh that like, yeah yeah it, it, it's it's exactly the same sort of way of coping that, that christian has when he'd be like you know getting trouble kicked out of the mall and then goes home and writes like the security guards as a major threat in his comments <laughs> it's <laughs> The comments, wow. man. The comments. You know who's very special with these comments. Damn, that was funny as fuck. You got some talented friends, Phil. Beautiful comments, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, this is what friends. I was saying, though. I you know, somebody like, paid the editor. Yeah. This, this is what I was saying the other day, though. Like, you know, anything he gets given, he's like, "Yep, yeah, that's good. That's a piece of content mm-hmm. I can put on my channel." You know, there's yep. no quality control. There's no. There's no critical thought. It's just, oh, that. And it's edited as well. They're gonna love this, you know. And it's just like, oh, he come was on, pra- man. praising it. It's it's has five thousand views now, guys. In four days, he was saying like this. It's it's working. It's working. It's a, the, the, that <laughs> shit is so outdated. It gives me the vibes of something that the nostalgia critic would have made in like two thousand ten. You yeah, don't like, like me? That's, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. pull out my gun and I will yeah. shoot you. That's, that's those. Great call. Mm. That's exactly like a skit they do on those kind of like you know they do like game reviews. They throw a skit in there. It's kind of like horribly yeah. acted. Mm. That's exactly the vibe. You're right. <laughs> like more but, like an uh, an Angry Joe skit from like 2010. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like, mad about like aliens and, and and stuff like that. Doing the thing where he throws on the armor and goes, "You fucked up the game." <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. that's the thing. It's kind of cringy, but real quick, real quick before we move off from the college thing, we got to get get out of here soon. Uh, so the college he did get into, boys, was Fairfield College. Common mm-hmm. knowledge. Not saying anything you didn't know. I'll be right back, uh, sending some big. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Harvard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harvard University has an acceptance rate of six percent. Six percent. I remember the only reason Phil didn't get in though is because he's white, not rich, and didn't know anybody though. Six. Wait, he applied to Harvard. Oh, oh. Every Ivy League school, Stephen. Every Ivy no. League school. <laughs> yes. He thought he was that good. 
he applied to all of them. <laughs> Didn't get accepted to any of them, dude. But, okay, Harvard has a 6% acceptance rate. <clears throat> Fairfield, 57% acceptance rate. He did get accepted to that one, though. But it's not from the grades. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. It's because he didn't know anybody, was not rich, mm -hmm. and was not a minority sports player. But my favorite part of he this. He had to claw <laughs> himself up from the dirt. <laughs> my favorite part of this is Fairfield University is not an Ivy League school. We've established this, right? However, it costs more than some Ivy League schools. <laughs> Phil managed to get a lesser school that costs more than an Ivy League school. <laughs> beautiful. Oh <my> God. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And he, I love you know what he, percentile of applicants that puts him in. <laughs> <laughs> 56. You flip a coin, you're probably getting into that one. And you're paying your ass for it, too. <laughs> Damn. More expensive than Ivy League schools in some places, some Ivy League schools. I thought that was really funny. Um, but anyways, we should get to, let's get to one or two more mes messages, Sam, before we close it out today. We've had a lot of fun, but sometimes good things have to come to an end. Yeah. There is uh, also <clears throat> one more topic. Go ahead, go ahead. I think it's kind of important. The, the <clears throat> memberships. He was begging <laughs> mega hard, mega <laughs> hard. And he was saying, you know, you guys, when this member bomb expires, it's going to get really hard to hit the goal as it is right now. And the membership goal, uh, the memberships expired, and he lowered the goal. And now the, the reward is still the same. The goal is uh, a lot less, and we're we're back to the to, to begging. But what's the we? Go ahead, go ahead. We we called this on your stream, didn't we, Meerkat? When when he did the the unveiling uh, and the react channel, we were like, he's just gonna like struggle for memberships over there now, and 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 he'll start complaining about support being low there. Yeah. So, oh, great support on uh, DSP Reacts, but back here over on DSP Gaming, like I, I was just over there on DSP Reacts, and it's going <laughs> great. What he but showed people here. is that those bombs, they don't fucking matter, because he's going to yeah. lower the goal anyways. If you don't send him a member bomb, he's just going to lower it anyways, so it doesn't matter if, if you hit it by the time it expires or not. He's just going to lower it. Yeah. Yeah. What incentive do you have to join? Give me one. Exactly. Tell me yeah. one. benefits. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he's going to do a, a retro rage -a -thon. Oh, like, okay. He's going to get so, to replay old games he's already oh, played and shit. Sounds order food and do a feasting with the king. He's going to do a challenge. I'm never going to get the chance to do this again. <laughs> he's going to do a challenge, challenge where you easy? promise to give him money if he does something in the game. And then he's going to probably fail, but justify you giving him money anyways. It's Even though you gave him money for the challenge to happen. But that, that's the gimmick with DSP. You just got to keep giving him money for everything yeah, he asked for. That's it. That's and then it. in the end, he's going to say, you loved it, and he loved it too. And then yeah. his <laughs> wife is going to tell him what kind of food she wants to eat for feasting with the king. And then he's going to eat it. Yep. And then yeah. he's going to talk into the camera with a full mouth, as it happened yesterday. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Oh, God, no. That's oh, the thing now, isn't it? He oh. takes massive bites and just, like, starts talking. And you can oh. see him fucking the food in his mouth. I can't. I, I pretend it doesn't exist. I can't thing, survive. Bro. I cannot survive. I cannot survive You know this what? Tip. I prefer to watch that today on my stream than to watch his, his fucking pro Jared shit. So imagine how bad that is. I prefer to watch him open his mouth and you can see him with the food in his mouth trying to tell you how robust and delicious it is. Oh. Then, then oh. I preferred watching his mainstream actual project that he hyped up for like since Christmas. <laughs> Oh, this oh, was this one of the things that he that he was working on. I guess it was. <laughs> but the pro Jared project. thing, he was pitching it up since yeah. uh, for like three months now. Because it was it used to be like pro Jared LTG or the channel awesome, and then he decided <laughs> not to do LTG because LTG got banned, and oh. he might got really pissed for DSP watching him, and he might like copyright strike him or something. So he oh, got cold okay. feet, and he decided to do the pro Jared because it's safe, and he hates him. Oh, he definitely hates them. That copium is extremely, extremely thick in that room. 
<laughs> Pro Jerry can put out a video of like, you know, uh, uh, this grass growing, get it about 100,000 views. Uh, yeah, but, real quick, but, though, but, but, go ahead. Yeah. Pro Jared brought us the debunk stream. Pro Jared is responsible for the debunk stream because if Phil hadn't have tweeted that, he never would have got wildly popular. He'd never have had that revelation in the shower that the internet is looking at him in a favorable light. And this is his one chance to air out. His dirty you know what? <laughs> I, I think there's something that cancels the positivity of that out is that I've now I have seen Pro Jared dressed up as Sailor Moon with his cock out. So I cannot unsee <laughs> that and that negates any kind of positivity and fun that i've got from the debunk stream so i wish none of that ever happened so pro jared put your dig back in your pants and take off that fucking outfit <laughs> not in that order uh real quick though we do have to talk about i want to hear about what he talked about the uh, i'm not cheating on my wife thing america you talked about before the stream i want to hear that again oh uh but yeah. i just know uh just the clip that i've seen which was basically I have never cheated, and I will never cheat. Well, the, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Very confident. So basically, he took a very strong stance until he didn't. <laughs> She's the love of your life. She's your soulmate. Why would you say, well, actually, no, you know what, maybe. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah, if I had a chance. Yeah. I would. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Technically, I don't know that I'm never going to cheat. It's like, you know. <laughs> Like, dude, but you don't again, even go, go outside. Out. Who are you going to cheat up with? The fucking yeah. woodland critters? Come on. The delivery woman. If it's ever a woman. <laughs> That's right. He's grooming by proxy through cat. <laughs> He's telling cat oh, to like a... the nuts to get him ready and primed, and he kicks cat out. Hey. Oh, this is like an Onision type of situation. I like <laughs> exactly. it. No, no, no. Exactly. It's like, a, like a, you know, I've ordered the pizza. The guy came, gave me the pizza, took the money, and went. <laughs> <laughs> did you come in ask me about you know oh, it's a nice place but the bedroom's large you know that's not how it works in the movies Derek keeps sending me oh no <laughs> hell no all right sam pick the best the best looking message we have and play that one and that's going to be it okay. we'll, we'll play all these though i promise we will because we asked for these we got to play these at some point this asshole okay. has to play those yeah, I was going to say, there was, we have another from Arthur Brown, but it'd be good to hear from someone else. Also, yeah, just yeah. really quickly, uh, Phil has now discovered uh, scenes in OBS. That's another Ooh, thing. Yeah. He discovered it. Takes a lot of years to find those. Yeah. So, yeah good job, Phil. They're buried deep tight. into OBS. They're <laughs> actually uh, really feature. hard to find on the very first screen that you see. It's a well, they're really hard to I'm guessing it, it's a drop down menu, I'm guessing. Oh. Yeah, edit. like you have your sources, and then next to your sources on the left is your scenes. And yeah, that's, that's a hidden feature. <laughs> what do you guys say? You guys are toxic. It's hidden. Yep. <laughs> do Bob Starsky because he's a legend from the King of the Ring. Let's give some respect. You know, you know what? Just, just a quick one. Uh, I'm sure Super Blind Man knows his way around scenes much better than DSP does. That's all I'm going to say. I'm, I'm, I'm just not seeing what you're seeing, Meerkat. I'm just not seeing that. Uh, uh, hey. 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 Oh, yeah, and he yeah. figured out redirecting. So oh, yeah, he, figured out redirecting. Yeah, he didn't want to... He didn't want to pause his stream to figure it out. He was ridiculing somebody. He was making fun of some dude in chat who proposed. How about you take like two minutes to figure out how to redirect to your own channel, you fucking idiot. <laughs> hmm. Which is fair. You know, only, you know, you've only been streaming for like what the last seven or eight years. So <laughs> it takes a while to figure that out. <laughs> the idea yeah. that you know I've started up another stream over here. I'm gonna I've, I've got this audience here and I do have the ability to redirect them. But I'm just going to tell them to do it themselves, and they're all going to go and try to search for my channel, but they're not going to be able to find it straight away because all these other videos are going to pop up instead. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, my favorite thing about the DSP Reacts channel is when you go on the live tab, all you see is hate live. <laughs> Dozens of episodes of hate live from the not king of hate, the <laughs> not king of hate. <laughs> That right, was a great right. stream at Reveal. <laughs> it was a fucking great night. All right, let's get some Bob Starsky action here, which I think had my favorite song of the whole finals. Uh, I personally, Bob Starsky. So, but go ahead, play it. Come on, get some action. Hopefully, it's not a song. Don't break the rules, Bob. Yep, well, there we go. What's up, everyone? It's Bob Starsky here. Ooh. Um, I think Cat is literally decomposing downstairs. It's been <laughs> God knows how long since we've seen her. That picture of them two was from 2021. 
She could have left him. Hopefully, she did. Uh, but if Phil has killed her and then gets arrested and thrown in prison, I'm sure there'll be a documentary that comes out. So my question to everyone is, what would the documentary be called? I mean, <laughs> it would be The Hand Murderer or a Chill-style Psychotic Break or something like that. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, guys. Lost your king of the ring. Big ups, Lefty, Lemtex, and everyone that was in the finals and everyone that thrown in the song. Um, here's a song of mine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Intentional. I like the serial killer vibes with that volume. <laughs> what would his documentary be if he did kill Cat, which we did not confirm or deny? I don't think that's true. He's joking around. <laughs> What's a good name for that? I think by default this I did nothing wrong. That could be. Yeah, that's, that just works for so much. My my alive style wife. <laughs> Not quite alive, alive style. It makes sense. We'll get it later. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. And he clay he claimed her death was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Whale tales, murdering and banning the whales. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodbye, horses. There's a song Jesus. like that, right? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, go ahead, Sam. Your last one. Close it out. Close it out. With oh, I, can't, I, I can't. No, I can't do any better than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. That will do it for this show. We do hope to see you on Wednesday, 4:30 p.m. Will be the Gundam show, and uh, we're gonna have fun stuff ready for you there. Please. ALT is in charge of that one. And fuck me. I did not want to be. Get I did ready not want to get to fucked. <laughs> Production quality down the fucking tubes. Probably going to have the most people watching us we ever do uh, for, uh, so far, for sure. And we're going to fuck it up because I'm at the controls. But I did nothing wrong. Blame Sam. He's got to go to fucking plug birthday in Robo, week. Steve. Yes. <laughs> Sam's going to fucking birthday week celebration. God damn it. Admit, oh, say no, where you're there will going, be Sam. no Robo Steve on Wednesday. <laughs> Where are you going, Sam? Let everyone know. Come on, share the dox yourself. Where are you going? I, I'm not leaving the country. It's, it's not that exciting. <laughs> oh, okay. So. It's London. a stay more staycation. Sam's day out. Okay. Yeah. We'll oh, expect some hype that. stories. Need some hype stories. But Steve will be there. Uh, Sam will be there. He will not be in the production room. I will be in the production room. So get ready for some bullshit. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday, 4 30 p.m. Thanks so much for setting shit over to WPIG ideas and stuff. Always appreciate it. Discord. Uh artistic style, musical style host, please, last words. Peace out. <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> Cerebral style host, please. Welcome back. Nice to have you back, my friend. Thanks. Thanks. Um I do actually have a video nearly done. But uh, I'm currently having problems rendering it. <laughs> like my my software keeps crashing; it's just not rendering at all. So I'm going to try to work that out and just spend the next few hours pissing about with settings and trying to get it to work. Well, so it's... I was hoping to have new footage up soon, but yeah, it is pretty difficult rendering 48 hours worth of video. <laughs> <laughs> That's very taxing. <laughs> right. I got to the point where it was like four hours, and I'm like, "Is this long enough?" Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> People are going to be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, I was genuinely thinking people are going to be disappointed. So, so hopefully she'll be out soon. If did not, you hear I'm your knackered. reference in the song? I hope. Someone I did. Yes. The song. Yeah, yes, that was awesome. That was awesome. I I'll, I'll check out it. Yeah, there you go. Text. <laughs> oh Lord, it's time for bed. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Sam. Close it out. Uh, yeah. See you later, everyone. Um, expiry. <laughs> <laughs> This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat. I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this, this stream gets 100 likes or two. I don't think it affects it. I first saw you in Burger King. You took two seats cause that ass is way too big. Had a boyfriend I realized. But you told him lies with your raccoon eyes. The DoorDash is here. 
wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Kevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Raccoon so much she loves me and a family and jasper and, and you know the things we get to do together even though i definitely want more time with them and more family time but i absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be seriously all those years back then you'd be like it's a whirlwind of crap it was me and by the way i've told you guys about my past i used to drink way too much i would be drinking constantly all the time because i was so stressed out i was I, honestly when i started with this whole thing i was depressed many years ago you know a decade ago i didn't like my life or anything and basically liquor was the way to kind of get through that you know it was oh i hate my life I hate, I hate who i am so let me just drink it all the way and just keep pumping out fucking youtube videos i don't have to do that shit anymore you know like i'm happy with who i am Now, Jasper, you just got sprayed. <laughs> 